Hello and very good evening, everyone. My dear FMG students, I am so glad to be on this platform and to share with the, the, my experiences and to share the things that you have to do just maybe a few days before the exam. But I know that there is a lot of uncertainty between like the exam date is not finalized and yet we don't have any notification and uh, many things are happening. But I, I personally would say that okay that uh, January maybe we can have the exam but you should all gather yourself you should gather everything together because this is the time that you are not supposed to lose the focus at this particular time many students lose their focus and they just drift away and one loss in the in like in the focus one small loss in the focus can actually cost us six months so beta in these few days you have to be very focused you have to be very organized and you have to be dedicated towards your studies you should always i personally would say that you should always prepare for like early part if the exam is uncertain try let us all prepare for december if the exam is in january that's okay so prepare yourself that as if it's only one month away and uh, make sure that you get all your revisions done in time and all the bigger subjects the six bigger subjects medicine surgery gynae peds uh, pediatrics psm patho these bigger subjects they should be done at least two to three times revision and uh, that's how you should be going anyways let's take on uh, your queries if you have any queries and if you like uh, have anything for me to see i'll be more than happy to no, like uh, chat with you any questions beta you have wo apne chat box mein dalo. i can't see the chat that we are having uh just a moment i'll just switch on the chat box for me <clears throat> so that i'm able to see what you guys are saying switch on the chat box for me yeah very good evening very good evening now i'm i'm switched on now actually very good evening good evening hitesh glucose asepali very good evening sir how to study psm case control cohort studies good evening sir much needed session thank you so much thank you so much everyone very good evening to all beta i'm so happy to be on this platform again and talk with you ke kya kya aapko karna chahiye and kaise apne ko make sure karna hai that ab ki bar really sach mein sach mein hume date so par karna hai so that's what we need theek hai 200 par ho jaye to bahut achhi baat hai but uh, how to prepare in last few minutes usi liye that's what this whole session is all about so yeah sir put all the formulas in place okay point noted beta point noted uh please give pdf uh, cohort study psm one touch psm how are you yahi yaad kara do ab ki baar 200 par hai bilkul theek baat hai hitesh i agree ab ki baar 200 par hai but at least jo students abhi taiyari kar rahe hain at least abhi humne jo main focus hamara hai wo hai ki bhai hum kisi tarah apna 150 par kare so beta what i have done is ye ek session hai ye sirf aap logo ke liye hai jo students abhi exam de rahe hain main manta hu i absolutely agree beta everybody is okay with like uh, if you have any problem understanding in hindi just let me know because i'll be doing both hindi and english both so it's not pure hindi it's not pure english and uh, sir these sessions are enough for psm not at all beta i don't agree on this that the session is enough for psm but yes this session would be enough for you to revise if you have done your psm from all the sources that we have videos hain qbank hai if you have done psm then this session is the session for you to revise right yes hindi so wo kehte hain ke suno ek baat wo kehte hain ke seediyan unhe mubarak jinhe chhat pe jana ho hamara manzil to aasman hai aur hame rasta khud banana hai i hope you have heard these lines and with that i wish to god i pray to god ke hum sab log jo is session mein ded do ghanta lagega is session mein jo karne baithe hain i pray to god ke jo jo hum baat kare mere seriously bhagwan se ye prarthna hai that wo really exam mein aana chahiye and i hope that uh, we all are preparing with the true best hearts and we are very honest with our, ourselves so <clears throat> 
last year mcq yes we have done these last year mcqs we have already done in all my offline classes i have done all the previous year three four year mcqs we have already done but uh, will it be on youtube later that is not for me to decide that is for the team to decide but probably abhi aap baithe ho to isko suno and we should all clear this all your doubts beta the session will be for two days we are here for two days today and tomorrow to jo aapke doubts hain wo main note karta ja raha hu and ye hum saath saath clear karenge in case i'm not able to do that we will be doing tomorrow by the evening like uh, by the end of the session and i'll give you all all the all the formulas and everything that you're asking you will get it online in this live session i promise to that so i'm i'm true to my heart i'm honest with my heart and i bet on this ke jo jo hum baat karenge in topics mein se 70 80% of the exam is usually there so if you are seriously you have done your preparation this is the session jisko aap leke aage revise kar sakte ho right uh this session is primarily dr s this session may be useful for need because at the end of the day the things are same but mera jo main focus rahega behind the back of the mind that is for fmg exam because this session is dedicated focus fmg exam so yeah but that's what i'm here for to give you the most expected topics for the up- upcoming fmg beta this is the list of topics is topics ka ek screenshot le lo ये चैप्टर्स हैं जो हमने बात किए हैं इन चैप्टर्स में मैं आपको सेशन के एंड पे इन चैप्टर्स के अंदर मैं आपको सेशन के एंड पे आई विल गिव यू अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट यू हैव टू डू एंड मेक श्योर उस लिस्ट को आप फॉलो करें एंड यू जस्ट डू टक 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 दैट दिस इज डन दिस इज डन दिस इज डन राइट सो टूडे आफ्टर दिस एट टॉपिक और भी है इट्स नॉट दैट दिस द एंड वी हैव एपिडेमियोलॉजी बायोमेडिकल रिसर्च बट दिस आई हैव लेफ्ट प्राइमरली for tomorrow ye sara kuch jo aapka main cheez rahega this will be done tomorrow today our focus will be on mother child health beta demography family planning immunization vaccines nutrition environment and if possible communicable disease non communicable disease ko zarur hum aaj touch karenge aaj ke session ke liye ye hamara topic of the day rahega right and tomorrow we'll talk about uh epidemiology a little bit about infectious diseases epidemiology and so on and so forth biomed bio, bio biostatistics ye sara topics hum kal ke liye rahenge right so screen is showing loading please refresh uh with me i think the screen is absolutely fine and uh, sir vaccine simplify kar dijiye bilkul karenge and that's what this whole game is for beta let me just start on the first topic मैं क्वेश्चंस उठाऊंगा क्वेश्चंस के साथ वो पूरा टॉपिक हम डिस्कस करेंगे हमने बहुत स्ट्रेटेजिकली एमसीए चैप्टर में से मदर एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ चैप्टर जो अभी पहला चैप्टर द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट वी आर पिकिंग अप मदर एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ इस फर्स्ट चैप्टर मदर एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ में से आई हैव स्ट्रेटेजिकली पेड मेड अराउंड टेन टू इलेवन एमसीक्यूज विच आर गोइंग टू कवर द होल टॉपिक सो लेट्स जस्ट वेरी क्विकली क्रूज थ्रू दीज क्वेश्चन एंड सी how to tackle these questions hello sir how to calculate attributable risk attributable risk beta kal ke liye rakha hua hai attributable risk we'll discuss when we talk about epidemiology and biostats okay so it is blur why can't we see sir screen not clear please uh i don't know why the screen is not clear it should be clear नहीं मेरा स्क्रीन ब्लर होगा बट द क्वेश्चन कैन यू सी द क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द नंबर ऑफ विजिट्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द नंबर ऑफ विजिट्स सिक्स होम विजिट्स इन होम बेस्ड न्यू बॉर्न केयर फॉर नॉर्मल डिलीवरी सेवन होम विजिट्स इन केस ऑफ बेबीज बॉर्न बाय सिजेरियन सेक्शन मिनिमम फोर ए एन सी विजिट्स और मिनिमम फोर पोस्ट नेटल केयर विजिट्स क्या बोलना चाहते हो so screen is clear thank you very much for uh, everything is working well i hope everything should work well beta mera seriously i am telling you again this is my honest uh, effort that i uh, give to you the best possible expected mcq topics i am not giving you the mcqs these are the best possible expected mcq topics in topics mein se there is a high chance ke kuch na kuch exam mein zarur pahunchta hai so which of the following is not correct six home visits in case of normal delivery seven in case of uh, cesarean and minimum four anc minimum four pnc what do you want to say bahut sare students all the students are asking for option number b seven visits in case of cesarean section only five visits hitesh absolutely correct very nice answer beta if you talk about these anc and the pnc visits 
अगर आप इन ए और पी एन को देखें एंटीनेटल केयर विजिट्स बेटा देर आर फोर एंटीनेटल केयर विजिट्स यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर फर्स्ट विजिट विद इन ट्वेल्व वीक्स सेकेंड फोर्टीन टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स वीक्स थर्टीन थर्ड विजिट ट्वेंटी एट टू थर्टी फोर वीक्स एंड फोर्थ विजिट इज एट थर्टी सिक्स वीक्स टेल टर्म दीज आर द मिनिमम फोर दीज आर द मिनिमम फोर एंटी नेटल केयर विजिट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज अ फाइव स्टार एम सी क्यू नेक्स्ट इज पोस्ट नेटल केयर विजिट हाउ मेनी पोस्ट नेटल केयर अगेन फोर पोस्ट नेटल केयर विजिट आर देर द फर्स्ट विजिट हैज टू बी ऑन द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ डिलीवरी सेकेंड विजिट थर्ड डे so 1 3 7 and then 42 days of delivery you can remember 1 3 7 and 42 days of delivery that is the post natal care visits there is also apart from this is the minimum post natal care visits beta next mcq question number 2 question number 2 is that how many visits are recommended you have already done how many visits are minimum hai na you have already done how many visits are minimum next is how many visits are recommended recommended is not minimum recommended is the ideal number of visits how many ideal number of visits the government of india is saying the government of india says that there should be 13 to 14 visits minimum 13 se 14 visits hone chahiye recommended this is the recommended first 7 months mein it should be monthly visits twice monthly in the 8th month 7 and 2 9 and then weekly uh in case of the ninth month 7 2 9 9 3 9 and 4 13 so total 13 to 14 visits is recommended next is who ki taraf se in case question aata hai who visits then you have to mark total eight visits first trimester one visit second is two visits and third trimester is five visits talking about home based newborn care beta home based newborn care 2016 17 mein program shuru kiya tha in this program there are total six visits in this there are total six visits in case of normal vaginal delivery in case of cesarean section in case of cesarean section so there is only five visits why only five visits because day 3 pe the female is in the hospital and then in seven visits to be done in case of normal delivery in hospital in home sorry not hospital in home home delivery in case of home delivery it is seven visits so six visits normal vaginal delivery institutional delivery five visits in cesarean and seven visits in normal delivery at home so total ye home based newborn care hai. next is what is uh, the next topic home based young child ek aur program shuru hua tha because home based newborn care was very successful ek aur program shuru kiya what is home based young child home based young child care mein there are five visits there are five visits and these five visits these are three monthly visits these are five three monthly visits ye zaruri hai yaad karne ke liye i hope everybody is remembering and everybody knows about it and uh, let us take on the next topic next question next question acha next question aa gaya let us talk about this one so is my best answer which of the following is not correct regarding the number of visits what do you think is the best answer the best answer over here is seven home visits in case the baby is born by cesarean this is not seven this is five visits to be there chalo very nice let us go on to the next mcq suman charter is what is suman charter next mcq what is suman charter suman charter is dignified care incentive to mother for institutional delivery screening of pregnant females screening of adults and girls for anemia what do you think is the best answer over here suman charter what is suman charter kya bolte ho what is suman charter <coughs> these visits are irrespective of the low birth weight and uh, yes that is correct dr s these are irrespective of the low birth weight so jo low birth weight hota hai uns case mein we add free extra visits but that is like in case of institutional delivery and that also uh, if the if the child is at home after the delivery is done so what is suman charter beta suman charter um option b dignity dignified care incentive to mother for institution screening of pregnant women screening of adults and girls for anemia dignified care what do you think is suman charter very nice very nice many of you answered this correctly but abhi kafi students iska b answer kar rahe hain kya ho gaya kyun b kyun kar rahe ho ha huh? subhash kumar ankit roy amit kumar why do you say b beta b is incentive to the mother for institutional delivery please note ye jo suman charter hai na suman charter 
ये एक एक्सपेक्टेड एमसीक्यू है इट इज अ फाइव स्टार एमसीक्यू ये जो सुमन चार्टर है एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट मनीष ग्लूकोस शुभम ए एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट द आंसर इज ए इट इज डिग्निफाइड केयर द आंसर इज ए दैट इज डिग्निफाइड केयर होता क्या है सुमन चार्टर मैं आता हूं वापस इस क्वेश्चन पे बट जस्ट हैव अ लुक व्हाट इज सुमन चार्टर सो व्हाट इज सुमन चार्टर इज सर्विस गारंटी चार्टर सुमन होता क्या है व्हाट इज सुमन सुमन स्टैंड्स फॉर सुरक्षित सुमन स्टैंड्स फॉर सुरक्षित मातृत्व आश्वासन सुमन स्टैंड्स फॉर सुरक्षित मातृत्व आश्वासन व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय सुरक्षित सुरक्षित मीन सेफ मातृत्व इज मदरहुड आश्वासन मींस गारंटी it's a motherhood safe motherhood guarantee scheme right it's a safe motherhood guarantee scheme kis cheez ki guarantee de rahe hain guarantee dete hain hum do cheezon ki bade dhyan se likh lo do cheeze zehen mein aa gayi hain if you if you remember two things everything will be sorted out so if you remember just two simple things ashwasan it means a guarantee guarantee of what guarantee of a uh, dignified care dignified care with good quality with good quality and third point for you to remember is there is zero tolerance zero tolerance to denial of services to pregnant female and infants ye teen cheeze if you just remember these three things everything will be sorted out for you in the exam please remember the first thing that you need to remember what is suman scheme it's a guarantee scheme guarantee of what it is a good quality scheme and good quality of care scheme and third is that we are giving a uh, guarantee that there will be zero tolerance to denial that means that e- whatever uh, registered me- medical practitioner is there in india we cannot deny services that i can't say that i am a plastic surgeon and uh, i don't know how to how to manage a pregnant female no that is incorrect we cannot do that we are supposed to give them the first aid and then give them appropriate referral so there is zero tolerance of denial but if you talk about suman suman it's a it's a big scheme it is a very big scheme where you have included everything under the suman scheme so can you see that there is respectful care with privacy can you see this there is respectful care with privacy and dignity free transport under 102 108 ambulances do you remember which scheme was giving them free transport i hope you all remember it is jssk what was jssk janne shishu suraksha karyakram free transport free opd free ipd given to everyone so there is a good quality care which is free and this care will be given free of cost and it is good quality so earlier we were giving we are giving free care hai na jssk we were giving hbnc now we are giving services now the point is not about giving services the point is about giving good quality services that good quality word is pretty important over here so just remember that giving free transport is under gssk and gssk is now under like uh, it's it's under a bigger umbrella of suman charter so a time a time bound readdressal of grievances postpartum family planning counseling that is under the under the uh, family planning program we have deliveries by trained personnel choice of for delayed court clamping so birth registrations counseling everything is there and then for fetal for uh, for child program also zero expense ac- access to management of any maternal complications elimination of mother to child transmission of hiv hepatitis b and syphilis this is important there is dual vertical transmission of hiv and syphilis so this is now included under the naco program that hiv and syphilis dual vertical transmission has to be stopped so everything is under the suman charter everything is under the suman charter what is suman scheme it is to give good quality care with dignified care right so screening of children beta screening of children that is screening of children screening of children in schools in homes in anganwadis it is done under rbsk what is rbsk rashtra bal swasthya karyakram who is the eligible beneficiaries who are balak so rashtra balak swasthya karyakram these are 0 to 18 year children and 0 to 18 year children we are giving them a uh, screening for 32 diseases can you see this number these are 32 diseases which are screened which includes tb and leprosy these have been included very recently tuberculosis and leprosy has been included very very recently under the rashtra balak swasthya karyakram then there was another option i remember that was on pradhan mantri uh, then there was option on on uh, incentives so that is incentives beta please remember that incentives 
under the national program they are actually given under two programs one is gsy that is janani suraksha karyakram yojana and another is pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana pradhan mantri prime minister matru vandana yojana please remember what is matru vandana yojana that was to give them 5000 rupees this is total amount of 5000 rupees to be given to the female and this 5000 rupees was given to the female in three installments in three installments the first installment being when the female has done her first anc visits within 150 days the second installment was after delivery institutional delivery with complete four ancs plus four ancs and third visit was third installment would be given when the child will receive the first dose vaccination so when the child will receive the first dose vaccination they will receive the third dose this is what is the pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana please remember that this pradhan mantri prime minister matru vandana yojana it is under which program it is under which ministry it is managed by ministry of women and child development it is not under health ministry next mcq this whole thing is matru vandana yojana that you have to remember next mcq next point you have to remember is regarding the gsy what is gsy gsy is janani suraksha yojana janani suraksha yojana it is under which ministry ministry of health and family welfare gsy is under ministry of health and family welfare so there are two cash incentive programs one is by the ministry of women child development another one is by the ministry of health and family welfare it is a central scheme that means states have do not have a role to play in this center government will play role in this for managing the funds and giving them directly to the pregnant female if you want to remember the exact numbers within these numbers you are very welcome to remember the exact numbers but overall mota mota if you talk about gross remembering i have remembered that in low performing states the mother and asha together together mother and asha together will be getting 1500 to 2000 rupees and in high performing states together they'll be getting 1000 to 1100 rupees it is just very gross numbers for us to remember in low performing states and high performing states so they, these were the things you need to remember for janani suraksha karyakram okay so yes absolutely correct beta 1500 se 2000 for low performing and 1000 to 1100 maine classes mein all those students who have attended the classes unko yaad hoga i told them 1000 to 2000 rupees total they will get in gsy if you just very very grossly iska bhi chhota version yaad karna hai so you can remember very very grossly speaking 1000 se 2000 tak टोटल मदर एंड आशा वर्कर दे बोथ विल बी गेटिंग आशा वर्कर का स्टैंडर्ड है बेटा 400 एंड 600 400 इन केसेस ऑफ अर्बन एरियाज एंड 600 इन केसेस ऑफ रूरल एरियाज इट्स ऑलमोस्ट स्टैंडर्ड राइट सो प्रीटी सिंपल इजी टू रिमेंबर देन कमिंग टू अनदर ऑप्शन दैट वाज रिगार्डिंग द दैट वाज रिगार्डिंग द देयर वाज वन मोर so what is uh, i'll i'll discuss the options now suman charter what is suman charter it is dignified care simple next is incentive to the mother for institutional delivery this is given for gsy and pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana if you get single best answer please always go with gsy gsy ka main kaam that was only to promote institutional delivery and the, as the question says institutional delivery it is very specific answer for gsy what is gsy janani suraksha kar yojana so next is screening of pregnant females beta please note that screening of pregnant females it is done under which program anybody who can help me remember this uh, anybody who can help me remember this screening for pregnant females is done under which program fada fada se bolo yaar i'm waiting for your answers on the chat box i'm waiting for your answers screening of pregnant females is done under which program anybody screening for pregnant females i'll go to the next option screening for adults and girls for anemia it is done under which program so screening for adolescent girls is done under rksk rashtriya kishore swasthya karyakram it is also done for adults and children under rbsk rashtriya balak swasthya karyakram 
So screening of pregnant females. Uh, Himanshu says PM, SMA, glucose says potion. Potion is not for screening of pregnant females. Yes, it is done to improve anemia. And for that, we would have to screen. So potion is kind of okay, but that's not the correct answer. Kunal says PM, SMA, absolutely correct. Sarfaraz Alam, PM, SMA, very nice. Everybody who just said PM, SMA, bola, bilkul sahi bola. Beta, why, why do you write RKSK? What is RKSK, Kunal? RKSK, achha, you miss, must have written for the next one. So option C, screening of pregnant females. I was waiting for answers for this one. Absolutely correct. Jinnone bhi answer kiye. Thoda sa lag hai na between what I speak and between what I get from YouTube, right? So anyways, that's all okay. Answer is Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan. Please remember PMSMA. What is PMSA? Prime Minister Surakshit. What is Surakshit? Surakshit means to save. And Surakshit Matritva. Matritva. Matritva means motherhood. Abhiyan. Abhiyan means any mission or any initiative that we do. So it is based on stickers. Sarfaraz Alam. I'm so happy that you have Very nice, beta. Keep it up. Very nice. Zarur. Ab ki baar, date so par. Shavash Kishan. Absolutely. Ninth of every month. Very nice, beta. PMSMF Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan. <clears throat> it is free ANC. Free ANC on 9th of every month on 9th of every month and it is color coded screening color coded screening we give blue color blue ke skill hota hai padavad se bolo blue red please write in chat box the colors answers for the colors blue red yellow and green what do you want to say blue red yellow and green padhan mantri surakshad matritva abhyan i'm waiting for your answers Blue Ore Bhai Saab Ishq Riyaz. Very nice. You have already written it. Cool, cool, man. I'm so proud of you. Blue for PIH, yellow for comorbidity, red for high pregnancy. Absolutely correct. Wonderful. Kya baat hai hai? Tum log na exam phod kya ho gaya? I'm so proud of you. This is, you're going to kill the exam, man. Very nice. Blue color. It is for pregnancy-induced hypertension. Absolutely correct. Hats off. Red color is for high-risk pregnancy. Kya baat hai? I'm so happy that I'm addressing a crowd jinhone pad rakha hai and I'm so happy then we can speed up. Very nice bache. Yellow is for comorbidity. Yellow is for comorbidity and green is for normal pregnant females. Normal pregnant females. Absolutely correct. So proud of you. Everybody answering correctly. Itesh, Yugendra, Omel, Kanika and uh, Meer Numan. Sara, Shweta, Shiva, Kanika, everybody is absolutely correct. Wow, amazing, man. Divya Gaur, Nida, Bipul, Manish, everybody, 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 each one of you has given me correct answers. And I'm very proud of this one. And I'm proud to say that I'm addressing a student gathering. Class me up long as a better by bowl letu kya bolta. But Yahampeto, I'm addressing people Jinko already pata, and that is a proud moment for, for me. Absolutely correct, but as Suman Charter. What is Suman Charter? That is dignified care. As he partero kaha exam yara kya get a exam will be super easy. Pani banjange MCQs agar up isi tarha partere. Very nice, very nice, beta. What is this new scheme? You must have heard of this in the classes. That is RMNCEH plus N. What is RMNCEH plus N? RMNCEH plus N, it is a new initiative. New initiative. It was started in year 2021-22. So it was started in few states in 21, then scaled up to the whole country in 2022. RMNCEH plus N. So Purana Nam Jo Iska tha, Iska Jo old name tha. Iska Jo old name tha, beta, old name. That was R M N C C H R M N C H plus A. Ye purana naam tha iska. So now this old name has been renamed to R M N C H plus N. MCQ is me sirf ek hi banta hai that ye N jo naya word introduce hua hai. What is this N? That's all. That's all. So what is N? Absolutely correct, Hitesh Dayama. You you know all the answers, man. Very nice. What is N? N stands for nutrition. Nutrition may ye jo sare aapko words dikh rahe hai. Kya aapko ye sare words aate hai? Agar aate hai, toh bilkul thik hai. Iske aage check box bana ke dhan likh do. Agar nahi aate, toh sun lo isko. Do minute lagenge. I'll tell you one one word about each of them. Ye exam mein puchhe ja sakte hai. 
बेटा न्यूट्रिशन के जो प्रोग्राम्स हैं न्यूट्रिशन प्रोग्राम्स दैट आर प्रेटी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ये एग्जाम में आते हैं और ये नया इनिशिएटिव है एंड बिकॉज इट्स अ न्यू इनिशिएटिव इट इज बाउंड टू कम इन द एग्जाम सो वट इज न्यूट्रिशन एन स्टैंड फॉर न्यूट्रिशन फर्स्ट एम सी वट इज मा मा स्टैंड फॉर मदर मदर्स एब्सोल्यूट एब्सोल्यूट अफेक्शन है ना जब आप बाहर पढ़ाई करते हो तो माँ की याद आती है ना माँ का प्यार मदर्स एब्सोल्यूट अफेक्शन बेटा दिस मदर्स एब्सोल्यूट अफेक्शन इट इज टू डू वॉट इट इज टू प्रमोट ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग टू मेक गाइडलाइंस फॉर ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग इन इंडिया दैट इज दिस माँ इनिशियटिव इट इज अ इंडियनाइज वर्जन इट इज इंडियनाइज वर्जन ऑफ बी एफ एच आई वट इज बी एफ एच आई बी एफ एच आई यूनाइटेड नेशंस का प्रोग्राम है दैट इज बेबी फ्रेंडली हॉस्पिटल initiative i'll write it down for you guys baby friendly <coughs> hospital initiative baby friendly hospital initiative when i was doing mbbs us time pe na psm pad ke to mere khud ke khol kha matlab khoon khol jata tha ye sab kya kar kya rahe hain baby friendly hospital what does it all mean karna kyu hai बेटा डू यू नो दैट सेवेंटी टू परसेंट ऑफ द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन भारत की बहत्तर परसेंट आबादी जो है वो अभी रूरल एरियाज में रह रही है एंड इनमें से सत्तर परसेंट फीमेल ही सिर्फ इंस्टीट्यूशनल डिलीवरीज करवाते हैं बाकी थर्टी परसेंट फीमेल गेट नॉर्मल होम डिलीवरीज अब होम डिलीवरीज के केस में ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग कितना होता है नहीं होता देर इज लॉर्ड ऑफ इशूज सो देर वॉज एन इनिशियटिव बाई यूनाइटेड नेशन यूनाइटेड नेशन जो की एक इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उन्होंने बी एफ एच आई किया now indianized version of the bfhi baby friendly hospital initiative which was launched across the world is ka indian version is ma scheme ma is to promote breastfeeding next is what is clmc clmc stands for comprehensive comprehensive lactational management centers comprehensive lactational management centers what is clmc सो सी एल एम सी के अंदर बेटा सी एल एम सी के अंदर भी हमने ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग प्रमोट करना था बट कुछ बेबीज होंगे जिनके मम्मी नहीं है देर माइट बी समर्स डिड नॉट हैव दर बेबीज स्टिल बर्थ हो गया बट दे डू हैव मिल्क तो कुछ बच्चे हैं जिनके पास माँ का दूध नहीं है कुछ माँ है जिनके पास पीने वाला बच्चा नहीं है इन दोनों को मिलाने के कार्यक्रम को कहते हैं सी एल एम सी वट इज सी एल एम सी कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव लैक्टेशनल मैनेजमेंट सेंटर कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव मतलब सब कुछ मिला जुला के Lactation, मतलब breast feeding, management centers. So in comprehensive lactation management centers में क्या promote क्या करना है breast feeding नहीं करना to promote breast milk donation, to manage breast milk donation ताकि mothers अपना breast milk donate कर पाए या फिर जिन mothers के पास excess breast milk है वो अपना breast milk preserve कर पाए उन्हीं के बच्चे के लिए थोड़ी देर बाद use कर लेगा So these all things are there, breast milk donation. नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज ए एम बी हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट ए एम बी ए एम बी क्या है ए एम बी स्टैंड फॉर अनिमिया मुक्त भारत अनिमिया मुक्त भारत ये आपके आई थिंक लास्ट एग्जाम में भी आया था अनिमिया मुक्त भारत अनिमिया मुक्त भारत ये अभी हम वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट अगेन इट इज अक्स बाय सिक्स बाय सिक्स प्रोग्राम सिक्स इनिशियटिव सिक्स इंस्टीट्यूट मैकेनिज्म एंड सिक्स बेनिफिशरीज आर देर so it is giving anemia mukt bharat anemia se mukt karna hai to give iron and folic acid bahut common mistake student karta hai why do we give iron folic acid in these anemia mukt bharat we give anemia mukt bharat mein suno dhyan se suno anemia mukt main bahut important baat bolne laga hu aur aap ye galti karoge exam mein in anemia mukt bharat everybody gives iron folic acid everybody knows about this ye everybody knew about this ye sabko pata tha hai na so anemia mukt bharat mein we are giving iron folic acid mera aapse sawal hai why do we give iron over here why do we give iron it is to decrease anemia common sense to improve the hemoglobin why do we give folic acid to the female why do we give folic acid please do not answer ke anemia mukt bharat mein sir hum iron dete hain anemia se mukti pane ke liye folic acid hum dete hain न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट से मुक्ति पाने के लिए गलत हो गया बेटा आंसर बिकॉज अनिमिया मुक्त भारत में आयन फॉलिक एसिड छोटे बच्चे को भी दिया जाता है पांच साल के बच्चे को भी फॉलिक एसिड उसमें कहे का न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट हटाएंगे हम डिड यू गेट इट सो प्लीज डू नॉट आंसर दैट फॉलिक एसिड इज गिवन फॉर न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट इसके अरे ने गलती सबसे पहले कर दी एंड वो थे अपना आंसर हटा दो यहाँ से दैट इज रॉन्ग आंसर प्लीज नोट 
फॉलिक एसिड डू नॉट से न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट के लिए है दैट इज द ओनली रॉन्ग आंसर मैं बता रहा हूं ये आपको आप उसमें गलती हो जाती है तो जिन्होंने गलती करी वो सीखे जिन्होंने नहीं करी वो सीख जाओगे सो प्लीज नोट दैट एनीमिया मुक्त भारत इट इज आयन एंड फॉलिक एसिड आयन टू बी गिवन एट द रेट ऑफ सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम टू प्रेगनेंट फीमेल सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम है या आर एन आई हंड्रेड नहीं है सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम आय टू प्रेगनेंट फीमेल्स टू डब्ल्यू आर आई रिप्रोडक्टिव एज ग्रुप फीमेल्स एंड ऑल्सो टू एडोलसेंट चिल्ड्रेन बोथ बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स अब बताओ बॉयज में कहे का न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट हटाना भाई बच्चा बड़ा है सोलह साल का लड़का है उसमें छोकरे में सोलह साल के छोकरे में कौन सा न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट यूर गोइंग टू रिमूव राइट सो इट्स नॉट न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट इट इज सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम आयरन हैज टू बी गिवेन एंड Uh, for anemia and folic acid is in tune of 500 micrograms to remove to decrease the cases of megaloblastic anemias and again to decrease in anemia so exam january very nice announcement aa gaya kya <coughs> exam january hai okay next is what is poshan abhiyan <coughs> what is poshan abhiyan next point what is poshan abhiyan बेटा पोषण अभियान वॉट इज पोषण अभियान पोषण अभियान दैट इज लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर दैट इज गिवन बाय वेन वॉज इट पोषण अभियान वेन वॉज इट स्टार्टेड इट वॉज स्टार्टेड समवेयर इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन इट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो प्राइम मिनिस्टर Portion. What does what is the full form of portion? Portion stands for Prime Minister Overarching Scheme for Holistic Nourishment. Please note portion. It stands for Prime Minister Overarching Scheme for. Holistic nourishment. It is portion abhiyan is not for TB, beta. वो portion TB portion abhiyan था. ये सिर्फ portion abhiyan है. This ये जो chapter कर रहे हो ये mother and child health chapter है. ये TB का वाला chapter ही नहीं है. So this is portion abhiyan mother and child health. Portion abhiyan. It is Prime Minister overarching scheme for holistic nourishment. इसका target क्या था? What was the target of the portion abhiyan? The target of the portion abhiyan that was to decrease anemia. by 3% per year it was to decrease anemia by 3% per year and also another target was to decrease low birth weight by 2% per year so ye dono points aapke exam mein aa sakte hain anemia by 3% and uh, low birth weight by 2% per year it it itesh dayama very nice we have two portions hai na yaad hai classes mein humne baat kiya we have two portions so right now beta which portion i am talking about we are talking about we are talking about portion abhiyan that is ministry of health and family welfare we are talking about portion abhiyan that is ministry of health and family welfare so 20th exam january exam date aa gayi very nice manish congratulations let's focus on 20th january now so talking about 20th january right next is what is ndd beta ndd what is ndd ndd stands for ndd what is ndd ndd it stands for chalo exam date tumhari aa gayi hai isi khushi mein kuch meetha ho jaye main bhi kuch meetha pee leta hu ab bolte bolte gala bhi sukh jata hai aapke exam date ki khushi mein let's hope everybody clears this exam <coughs> what is ndd 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 stands for National Deworming Days. Kanika Sharma, is it real or fake news? Beta, I am studying. You know, I don't know. You talk to the kids. I am not sure that it will be the 20th because I need to see the notifications and so on. So, National Deworming Days coming back to studies. Beta, let's take on. Let's go back to the study. This session is pretty important. National Deworming Days. Chalo, fada fada se chalo yar. National Deworming Days. It is observed on two days, 10th of February and 10th of August. So, 10th of February and 10th of August, two din pe ham yeh National Deworming Days celebrate observe karte hain. Is din pe kya karte hain? Is din pe we are giving albendazole. This is given at the rate of 200 milligram or 400 milligram. 
200 milligram is given to age group one to two years and 400 is given to age more than two years this is given as one tablet and the 200 is given as half tablet common sense this is what is the national deworming days and uh, giving albendazole to remove which problem like uh consa problem hatario national deworming days mein kaun si cheez hatario we are trying to remove which problem uh escariasis or hookworm it is to decrease hookworm infection hookworm infection and also to tackle escariasis but more importantly hookworm because hookworm infection is associated with anemia it is associated with anemia hookworms are associated with anemia absolutely correct hookworms ke liye ek aur index fatafat se bolo kaun sa index tha yaar wo mere ko yaad nahi aa raha kuch index hota tha i can't remember that index anybody who can help me in that kaun sa tha index for hookworms hookworm ke liye there was some index index kuch lighton se len den tha upar chhat pe jo lighte lagate hain anybody who can remember help me in remembering this कुछ लाइटों का लेन देन था फटाफट से बोलो शैंडलर उपेंद्र यादव वेरी नाइस उपेंद्र गायकवाड़ अश्विन यादव शैंडलर इंडेक्स शैंडलर इंडेक्स एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट शैंडलर इंडेक्स शैंडलर इंडेक्स लेस देन 200 200 टू 250 250 300 मोर देन 300 200 से नीचे ठीक है चलता है 200 से 250 इट कुड बी अ पोटेंशियल प्रॉब्लम 250 300 इट इज अ पोटेंशियल माइनर पब्लिक हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम मोर देन 300 इट इज अ मेजर पब्लिक हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम इट इज शैंडलर्स इंडेक्स वेरी नाइस गाइस वेरी नाइस इट इज हुकवम इंफेक्शन नेशनल डीवर्मिंग डेज नेक्स्ट इज एचबीवाईसी वी जस्ट नॉट डिस्कस्ड एचबीवाईसी व्हाट इज एचबीवाईसी होम बेस्ड यंग चाइल्ड एनआरसी व्हाट आर एनआरसीज बेटा व्हाट आर एनआरसीज डू यू रिमेंबर व्हाट इज एनआरसी NRC NRC stands for nutritional rehabilitation center nutritional rehabilitation centers NRC ye kis liye hote hain why do we have NRCs NRCs are for uh, tackling cases of SAM what is SAM severe acute malnutrition severe acute malnutrition yes sam child kon hota hai who is a sam child who is a sam child tell me who is a sam child sam child is any child whose weight for height weight for age likho ya weight for height galat to nahi likh diya just check me out aap batana mere ko kya kya maine sahi likha hai weight for height less than kitna standard deviation minus 3 standard deviation it is also for mid upper arm circumference of less than 11.5 cm and it is also for bilateral pedal edema bilateral pedal edema this is the criteria for a sam child who is a sam child severe acute malnourished child it is weight for height hai beta bipul kumar wahi galti jo main galti kar raha tha aapne bhi wahi kari to hum dono ne same galti kari it is weight for age nahi hai it is not weight for age because weight for age kya it is a general marker for malnutrition it is a general marker for malnutrition okay so for these we have nutritional rehabilitation centers jahan pe we are giving food we are giving food and and special diet to children we are giving food and special diet to children next is what is vitamin a program beta vitamin a program i hope you remember what is the vitamin a prophylaxis program What is vitamin A prophylaxis program? कौन सा था इसमें क्या देते थे हम vitamin A? क्या बात है शिवा त्रिपाठी आपने तो पूरा एग्जाम फोड़ के जाना है आज वेरी नाइस डॉक्टर शिवा भाई उठा दिया वेरी नाइस आई एम सो हैप्पी फॉर यू एफ सेवेंटी फाइव एफ हंड्रेड डायट एफ सेवेंटी फाइव इज गिवन इन इनिशियल स्टार्टर डायट इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन इन द स्टेबलाइजेशन फेज एफ हंड्रेड इज गिवन इन ट्रांजिशन फेज चलो सो vitamin a prophylaxis yes we are giving 17 lakh international units in nine doses in under five children in under five children we are giving 17 lakh international units in nine doses in under five children this is given from one year to two years one year to two years we give at the rate of 1 lakh international unit and two years more than 2 years till 5 years it is given at the rate of 2 lakh international units every 6 monthly 6 monthly 2 lakh international units very nice kafi dafa na many times students isme confuse ho jate hain what is the confusion 
वट इज द कंफ्यूजन कंफ्यूजन इज दैट इन सम ध्यान से सुनना दिस यू ऑलरेडी न्यू है ना आई एम सो प्राउड ऑफ यू वाइटामिन प्रोफाइल एक्सेस यू ऑलरेडी न्यू नाउ इन समाइम्स वट हैपन्स इज कंफ्यूजन वट हैपन्स इज दैट समटाइम्स द चिल्ड्रेन द स्टूडेंट्स थिंक दैट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वाइटामिन ए डेफिशियंसी इन केस ऑफ recognized or diagnosed vitamin a deficiency in case of children now this vitamin a deficiency can happen in any age group if the child is 0 to 6 months of age to yahan pe jo dose rahegi that will be 50000 international units please note that 0 to 6 months of age may we are not giving vitamin a to everybody pan india but pan india 1 to 2 years 1 lakh 2 years to 5 years 2 lakh in case of diagnosed vitamin a deficiency in case the child is very small less than 6 months then 50000 international units from 6 months to 1 year it is 1 lakh international units and then from 2 years till more than 2 years it is 2 lakh international units this is the this is the dose ab ye dete kaise how is the doses given this doses is to be given on day 0 that is today then day 1 ओके दैट इज नेक्स्ट डे एंड देन ऑन डे 14 अगर वहां पे सीवियर विटामिन ए डेफिशिएंसी है सो थ्री डोजेस दीस आर कॉल्ड एज मेगा डोजेस दीस आर थ्री डोजेस ऑफ विटामिन ए थ्री डोजेस ऑफ विटामिन ए टू बी गिवन इन केस अगर बच्चे को डायग्नोस्ड विटामिन ए डेफिशिएंसी है ये बात समझ पा रहे हैं सो इन केस ऑफ डायग्नोस्ड विटामिन ए डेफिशिएंसी वी आर गोइंग टू गिव हाउ मेनी डोजेस वी आर गोइंग टू गिव थ्री डोजेस ऑफ विटामिन ए डे 0 डे 1 एंड डे 14 मनीष वेरी नाइस That's all. Very nice. So, in case of vitamin A deficiency, we give these mega doses: day zero, day one, and day fourteen. But in case of measles rubella, measles rubella infection, we give vitamin A, dete, but only one dose. We don't give a mega dose. And the child can check how the vitamin A is status. Hai. Okay. So that's about the vitamin A. So that was all about the nutrition programs in your mother and child health. We have talked about all the programs. Baat ki hai. Baki ye sare programs hai, ये आप इसका स्क्रीनशॉट लीजिए एंड मेक श्योर यू नो एवरी एवरी सिंगल अल्फाबेट विच इज रिटर्न ऑन द स्क्रीन बिकॉज दिस इज योर एग्जाम एंड इसी में से ही एग्जाम आएगा ओके सो दैट इज अबाउट आर एम एन सी एच प्लस एन दिस इज अ न्यू प्रोग्राम बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दे हैव इंक्लूडेड द न्यू न्यूट्रिशन कॉम्पोनेंट ऑल्सो इन टू द पार्ट ऑफ इट तो ये हमारा सवाल यहाँ पे खत्म हुआ दिस इज वॉट इज सुमन चार्टर लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट एम सी क्यू बताओ जी लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट एमसीक्यू बताओ जी ये आपके लिए सवाल आया है टू ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड रिपोर्ट्स टू पीएचसी विद एक्सट्रीम वीकनेस इन एबिलिटी टू ईट सिंस लास्ट टू डेज एंड ओकेशनल लॉस ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस बेचारा इतना बेचारा मैल नरिस्ट हो गया कि वो अपना बेहोश हो गया बच्चा सो सिंस लास्ट टू डेज इन एबिलिटी टू ईट द चाइल्ड हैज बायोलैचुरल पेडिलिडीमा ब्लोटेड एबडामिन द वेट फॉर हाइट प्लीज पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड the weight for height is minus 3.5 sd shakir tape shows 10.6 the diet of child should be containing all except kya bolte ho all except kya bolte ho the good doctor says d f y i a d d d everybody answering d everybody answering d <clears throat> so please note that this child is this child a sam child yes this is a sam child abhi humne baat kiya tha that why is it called a sam child sam child sam child what is a sam child just now we talk except is a scam <laughs> aditya gupta yes except is a scam so uh, that's what i like about all the students they keep me they keep me fresh and they keep me uh, like rejuvenated all the time thank you for your comments and option d option d bahut sare students keh rahe hain which is the correct answer so what is a sam child beta hota kya hai what is a sam child sam child just now we discussed it is mid upper arm circumference less than 11.5 weight for height is less than 3 sd minus 3 sd and uh, there is bilateral पेडल एडिमा देर इज बायोलैट्रल पेडल एडिमा सो इस बच्चे को सैम चाइल्ड को हमें देना होता है एनआरसी में एनआरसी स्टैंड फॉर न्यूट्रिशनल रिहेबिलिटेशन सेंटर्स सो सैम चाइल्ड के क्राइटेरिया हमने ऑलरेडी बात किया 
प्लीज रिमेम्बर वॉट इज वेट फॉर एज वेट फॉर एज वॉट इज वेट फॉर एज वेट फॉर एज इट इज अ जनरल मार्कर फॉर अंडर न्यूट्रिशन जनरल मार्कर फॉर जनरल मैल न्यूट्रिशन इट इज ऑल्सो अ मार्कर फॉर कंबाइंड मैल न्यूट्रिशन कंबाइंड मैल न्यूट्रिशन इट इज ऑल्सो वेट फॉर एज इट इज ऑल्सो अ मार्कर फॉर एक्यूट ऑन क्रॉनिक मैल न्यूट्रिशन अगर आप ध्यान से देखो तो ये तीनों बातों के मतलब एक ही होता है इट इज अ मार्कअप फॉर एक्यूट ऑन क्रॉनिक इट इज अ मार्कअप फॉर कंबाइंड इट इज अ मार्कअप फॉर जनरल मैल न्यूट्रिशन नेक्स्ट इन लाइन वट इज वेट फॉर हाइट वट इज वेट फॉर हाइट वेट फॉर हाइट इट इज अ मार्कअप फॉर एक्यूट मैल न्यूट्रिशन वट इज वेट फॉर एज हाइट फॉर एज सॉरी हाइट फॉर एज इट इज अ मार्कअप फॉर क्रॉनिक मैल न्यूट्रिशन क्रॉनिक मैल न्यूट्रिशन इज स्टंटिंग एंड एक्यूट मैल न्यूट्रिशन इज वेस्टिंग एंड इन दोनों को कौन सा पैरामीटर देखता था वट वॉज द नेम ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन इट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉटर लोज क्लासिफिकेशन इट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉटर लोज क्लासिफिकेशन वट इज वॉटर लोज क्लासिफिकेशन फटाफट से लिखो वेट फॉर हाइट एंड हाइट फॉर एज लेस देन हाउ मच वट इज द क्राइटीरिया वट इज द क्राइटीरिया फॉर वॉटर लोज क्लासिफिकेशन कब कहेंगे वेस्टिंग कब कहेंगे स्टंटिंग when will you say wasting and when will you say stunting water loss classification wait for height it is acute absolutely correct very nice which is wait for height less than minus 2 standard deviations bilkul sahi bola first to give right answer lakshmi lakshmi priya sankar so lakshmi priya sankar absolutely correct bache very nice i'm so proud of you the first one to give the correct answer will always be on my on my uh, in my lecture and uh, thank you so much aap hamesha uh i respect you and very nice that you guys are following it <clears throat> so this is what is wait for height height for age then you have as nutritional rehabilitation centers this chart you must have seen so many times in my classes also it's the same chart beta wait for height wait for height less than how much stabilization phase transition phase rehabilitation phase so wait for height if it is less than minus 3 it is called as severe acute malnutrition initial phase may stabilization phase stabilization phase may what do we give we give f75 diet which is 75 kilo calories and 0.9 grams of protein this is given every per 100 ml per 100 ml so this is 0.9 grams of protein f75 diet in this diet please note iron in this diet iron is contraindicated because it may cause fluid overload and more toxicity more free radicals and more problem to the child so this says that the iron overload is uh, uh, iron is contraindicated in the initial phase stabilization phase coming to the next one transition phase transition phase may what we are giving is f100 diet please remember f100 diet is high energy like 100 kilocals per 100 grams of the f100 diet alongside we are also giving 2.9 grams of protein which is three times the protein so it is high protein diet high protein diet aap kis phase mein dete hain high protein diet beta hum dete hain in transition phase high protein diet is given in transition phase high protein diet it is given in transition phase right so very nice very nice keep on going very nice i'm reading your comments सही है सही है वेरी नाइस हितेश सिंह भी आ गए एफ एम जी इन जनवरी ये एफ एम जी इन जनवरी सर विल यू कमिटीज कमिट कमिटीज टूडे विल यू कवर कमिटीज टूडे करेंगे भाई सब कुछ आएगा सो टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ग्रोथ चार्ट वॉट आर दीज ग्रोथ चार्ट दीज आर कॉल्ड एज ग्रोथ चार्ट बेटा दीज आर द आई सी डी एस ग्रोथ चार्ट इंटीग्रेटेड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट सर्विसेज वट इज आई सी डी एस S stands for Integrated Child Development Services. ये कौन सी ministry का program है? It is under Ministry of Women and Child Development. It is under Ministry of Women and Child Development. Right? ये कौन है? बार बार Godel Jonathan, 23 year old girl patient having lump swelling while eating. She can't. By lump swelling, where is the lump swelling? You have to see the cause of nausea. What is the diagnosis? How can you answer this? please stop sending these kind of question this is psm beta we are in a psm session right now uh, this is not uh, surgery or this is not medicine we are talking about like diagnosis over here for this female it's a very vague question na 23 year old girl lump swelling ye to bataya nahi hai ab lump kahan hai ab pair mein aaya lump pet mein aaya khayegi to pet mein to aayega lump 
so she can't feel nausea what is definition of nausea bhai stop sending this god god l jonathan please stop sending this question again and again <clears throat> okay so yeah so what we are doing is growth charts beta growth charts it is under ministry of women and child development so in the growth charts there are three curves the first curve is at minus 3 uh, the first sorry not minus 3 the first curve is at plus 2 standard deviation the lower curve is at minus 2 standard deviation and the lowest curve is at minus 3 standard deviation some books will also say it is the median of the of the who growth charts but in india the government of india icds growth chart the first is at plus 2 the lower is at minus 2 and the lowest is at minus 3 standard deviation this is what is a growth chart for us to remember please remember these are the icds growth charts <coughs> are marrow videos enough bhai Aryan Joshi, have you completed the marrow videos? You if you have completed, aapko pata hi hoga, they are more than sufficient. That is what the exam is. That is what is the gold standard, beta. That is what is the gold standard. Ab isse upar kya hoga aapko? Matla, isse upar bhi hai apne ko. To fir to aapko pura yojana pe aana padega, bhai, mere. So a two-year-old child reports to PHC with extreme weakness and all that. This is a Sam child. What is the best answer? The best answer over here is iron supplements not to be given. Absolutely correct. Let's move to the next MCQ. Let's move to the next MCQ. A six-month-old child is brought to OPD in Health and Wellness Center, HWC, where CHO is available. The child presents with fever. The child presents with fever. Right? And respiratory rate is 50 minutes. So six month old child, respiratory rate is 50. Runny nose and cough since last two days. There is no evidence of chest in drawing presently. The next line of management advice to CHO by you as a medical officer. So what do you want to say? What, what do you think is this? What do you think is this? Oral amoxin, there is no evidence of chest in drawing. Oral Amoxy for five, refer to hospital, advice, home care, IM, Genta, and Oral Amoxy. So what do you want to say? C option, advice, home care with steaming and no other medication. Six months old child is brought to OPD. Six month old child is brought to OPD by a CHO. So what is the cutoff criteria, beta? <clears throat> so is this child having any fast breathing? The point to be noted is, is this child having any fa fast breathing? And you have to follow the SANS protocol. Absolutely correct, Sir Faraz Alam. So a six-month-old child is having fast breathing. So the respiratory rate is 50 and there is fever, evidence of fever also with a kind of, you can say, 50 which is slightly on the higher side right it's on the upper it's just on the criteria just add the criteria so you remember 60 50 40 six months that uh, if it is 60 and then we have as 50 six months to one year and more than one year it is 40 so that is the upper limit for tachypnea and since last two days runny nose and respiratory rate is there there's no evidence of chest in drawing okay so what do we want to say Advice home care with steaming and no other medication or amoxicillin for five days. Please note that this child already has fever. So as per the WHO criteria, as per the WHO criteria, beta, as per the WHO criteria, there is a revised protocol. There is a revised protocol. What is the, this is old answer. This is the availability of new evidence. Can you see this availability of new evidence? So in case there is cough and cold, no pneumonia, home care, fast breathing and chest in drawing. Fast breathing or chest in drawing, we are going to give oral amoxicillin, danger sign present, we have to give injectable antibiotics and then refer to the patient. But this is as per the WHO criteria. In case the question says that the child is coming to your subcenter or the in case the MCQ says that the child is coming to the CHO, Community Health Officer, then we have to follow the SANS criteria. What is SANS criteria? SANS stands for Social Awareness and Actions to Neutralize Pneumonia Successfully. 
इट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड अब ये पूरी जगह पे अवेलेबल है सांस क्राइटीरिया वॉट इज सांस क्राइटीरिया सांस क्राइटीरिया में इन केस बेटा इन केस द चाइल्ड इज फ्रॉम टू मंथ्स टू इलेवन मंथ्स ओके इन केस द चाइल्ड इज टू मंथ्स टू इलेवन मंथ्स मतलब दो महीने से ज्यादा बट ग्यारह महीने तक इन केस द चाइल्ड हैज अ फास्ट ब्रीदिंग ऑफ फिफ्टी पर मिनट सो ये चाइल्ड पड़ गया ना फिफ्टी पे सो इन केस इट इज फिफ्टी और इक्वल टू फिफ्टी कैन यू सी दिस इफ इट इज फिफ्टी और मोर देन फिफ्टी इन केस ऑफ टू मंथ्स टू इलेवन मंथ्स then this is categorized as fast breathing as per the sans criteria then this is pneumonia in case of pneumonia we have to give pre referral dose of oral amoxicillin and refer urgently to the health facility agar ye jo female hai ye asha worker hai can you see this these are direct screenshots from the government of india guidelines so in case of pneumonia beta the asha worker will give a pre referral dose of um, oral amoxicillin and then refer the child to the hospital okay refer urgently to health facility in case of fast breathing chest in drawing hai nahi hai we are not bothered with that are you getting this asha worker mein chest in drawing ka criteria hi nahi hai hamare paas try understanding sans is separate who criteria is separate in case the question says that the child is upcoming dhyan se dekho i am trying to help you out to remove any controversy beta in case the question is saying that the child is coming to a government of india in case the question is saying that the child is coming to government of india health center government of india mein to government of india chalega who nahi chalega sans criteria chalega sans criteria social awareness and actions to neutralize pneumonia successfully sans criteria mein we just take into account tachypnea in case there is no tachypnea then that is no pneumonia in case there is tachypnea it is pneumonia in case there is indrawing or any other thing it is categorized as severe pneumonia please remember this done ye hai asha worker next in line what to do in case of agar yahan pe cho community health officer dekh raha hai i hope you all know what is community health officer these are available at cphc these are available at health and wellness centers under cphc what is cphc compri hensif primary health care comprehensive primary health care ke tahat under under ayushman bharat comprehensive primary health care ke under we have these post of cho what are chos these are nursing officers these are nursing officers and they are uh, they are able to diagnose they are able to treat children based on any common childhood problems so in case of fast breeding cho CHO ne oral amoxicillin for 5 days in consultation with medical officer PHC treat wheeze if present advise home care for cough and cold advise mother when to return immediately and follow up after 2 days jo bhi maine circle kiya hai these can be your mcqs please note under the sans criteria CHO kaise treat karegi to a case of common cough and cold to a case of fast breathing to a case of chest in drawing by CHO. What is CHO? These are community health officer. These are nursing officers. When will they follow up? After two days. What to do? Oral amoxicillin. In case of fast breathing. अगर बच्चे में chest in drawing आ जाती है, ये WHO criteria नहीं है. In case the child shows chest in drawing, then the child has to be classified as severe pneumonia. Then the child needs to be referred to the hospital after giving oral amoxicillin and im genta am i very clear on this so please note let me just try to solve the controversy if you want you can take the screenshot there's also available on my website psmsimplified.com backslash updates if you go you will get the whole document ye padhna zarur just to summarize kehne ka matlab khatam karni hai agar baat mere ko ye summary hai beta sans ki in case a child comes with no pneumonia asha worker anm cho medical officer what are they going to do in case they come with no pneumonia no pneumonia ke case mein all cases mein we are going to give home care in case the child comes with pneumonia pneumonia means fast breathing am i clear on this again pneumonia means fast breathing 2 months to 11 months it if it if the if the breathing is 50 or more than 50 and after 12 months if the breathing is more than 40 it is categorized as or a tachypnea or fast breathing in case of fast breathing pre referral dose of amoxicillin by asha 
treat with amoxicillin by AM, treat with amoxicillin by CHOs, and medical officers again treat with amoxicillin. So amoxicillin has to be given for five days. In case of severe pneumonia, common sense, it has to be managed in the hospitalized uh, system. So I'll give amoxy and genta. So agar exam mein beta aapko uh, summarize, ab exam ke liye summarize karo. Exam mein yadi aapko poocha gaya ke pneumonia kya hai. So you need to answer the WHO criteria. But agar exam mein poocha gaya ke pneumonia bacha jo hai, wo India mein uh, comes to a sub center ya PHC mein aata hai or any government facility, then you have to answer SANS criteria. What is SANS criteria? SANS criteria is chest in drawing is taken as severe pneumonia. WHO criteria mein chest in drawing is taken as pneumonia. That's the big difference and that's the only difference. Right? So Pratik Singh, sir, smart lag rahe hai. Hamesha isa hai smart hoon. Aaj thodi na, yaar. Kya baat kar diya Pratik? Hamesha isa hai smart tha, yaar. Aapne dil thod diya. My heart is broken. Crack ho gaya heart, yaar. Aise kehta hai koi kisi ko. Aapka exam hai, bhai. Aapka exam hai, smart to tumhe lagna chahiye. So what do you want to say? Six month old child is brought to OPD in health and wellness center where the CHO is available. So child presents with fever and respiratory rate of 50, runny nose and cough since two days. Ab bolo, there is no evidence of chest and drawing. Ab bolo, now you are learned enough. Ab bolo, what do you want to say? Oral amoxicillin for five days, refer urgently to hospital, advise home care for, with steaming and give IM Genta amoxy. IM Genta amoxy to nahi hai answer. This I know for sure. Ye to galat hai. Give advice home care, we can do, but ye galat ho gaya. Refer urgently to hospital, ye bhi nahi hai. So absolutely correct, oral amoxicillin for five days. Absolutely correct. This is what is SANS criteria, social awareness. It is a social awareness and actions to neutralize pneumonia successfully, SANS criteria. So, next, a core controversial question hai. Which of the following is leading cause of under five mortalities? Samriti says, A, obviously, we to pehle se hi pata tha, A answer. Aap to aise 10-15 minutes barbaad huye. Ye to hume bachpan se hi aata tha, A answer. Bilkul sahi hai, Samriti, very nice, beta. I was just kidding. Absolutely correct. Very nice. So, which of the following is leading cause of under five mortality? Dil tootega, tabhi to judega, Tanvir Ahmed, kya baat kar di, yaar? Aise thodi na hota hai. Bina dil toote bhi juda hota hai. Dil judne ke liye tootna zaruri hai kya? Which of the following is leading cause of under five mortality? Pneumonia, septicemia, hypoxia or prematurity? What do you think is the best answer? Which of the following is the leading cause of under five mortality? Bhai sahab, aap log alag alag answer is question ka bhi de sakte ho. I didn't know that aap is mein answer aap pneumonia bhi kar sakte ho. Pneumonia bhi answer ho sakta hai. I never thought of this. Would you answer pneumonia for this? Seriously? Septicemia, hypoxia, prematurity. So which of the following is the leading cause of under five mortalities? What do you want to say, guys? Pneumonia, septicemia, hypoxia, prematurity. Ek aise bol sakte ho, yaar. Pneumonia kahan se aaya? Madhla, pneumonia is a very important cause, but it's not the important cause. D, 100%. Absolutely correct. How can you say prematurity is incorrect? So answer is option D, that is prematurity. अगर ये आप देखें distribution of percentage proportion हमेशा table का graph का हमेशा उसका नाम पढ़ो पहले and then look at the graph distribution of proportion of deaths of age group less than one year in India 2017 to 2019 so इसमें आप देख सकते हैं that prematurity and pneumonia uh, prematurity and low birth weight they are the highest proportion कितना proportion है 36.1 percent of the deaths 36% of the deaths, more than one third of the deaths are only because of one disease, one problem that is low birth weight and prematurity. Pneumonia is the second important cause that is 17.4. Next is birth asphyxia that is 11.5%. So 17.4%. And then we also have uh, birth asphyxia that is 11.5. So which is the major cause? Major cause is prematurity and low birth weight. Please note, ye dafa exam mein pucha jata hai, what is the common cause of infant mortality? It is low birth weight and prematurity. Agar single best answer aajai in me se, prematurity is always more important. 
Next is neonatal mortality, same answer, low birth weight and prematurity. Early neonatal, same answer, low birth weight and prematurity. But early neonatal, mein, within 24 hours, jo death hoti hai, that is most common due to hypothermia. That is most common due to hypothermia. Sir, how did you remember during your UG days? Bhai, poochho na mereko. Kaha maar kha kha ke, parents se maar khai, teacher se maar khai. Tab kaha yaad hote te? Ab wo to ab lag raha hai aapko. Seriously batao to kaha mereko. Hypocrisy ki bhi haad hoti hai na. Khud ko aata nahi ta. Ab aapko padha raha hoon. But tab humare jaise padhane wale bhi to kaha te? Tab mere jaisa koi padhane wala hota, to mein jarur yaad karta hai na. Ab aage na padhane wale, to ab yaad karo bhai. So, तब हमारे जैसे नहीं थे ना पढ़ाने वाले। So, ये तो फिर अब मेरा ही कमाल है। Thank you very much. So, what is under five mortality? Under five mortality. What is the most common cause of under five mortality? Under five mortality, बेटा, the most common cause is under five mortality. It's the same answer, low birth weight and prematurity. And child death rate. What is child death rate? होता क्या है? What is child death rate? Have you ever wondered what is child death rate? Child death rate जो होता है ना बेटा, जो child death rate है, child death rate is different from child mortality rate. What is child death rate? बेटा child death rate अलग होता है child mortality से. Child death rate is death of age, death of age one to four year children. Divided by total children of same age. Isme aap log galti karte one to four years. Mene isli I did not ask you also because I know that many of you must be doing mistakes. So sahi shnuta deshmuk. Sahi shnuta deshmuk. Very nice bache. I am so proud of you. You gave the correct answer. It is one to four year. One to four year children divided by the total children of same age. Ayush Rai, absolutely correct. I am very proud of you guys. That is what is child death rate. What do you mean by a child mortality rate? Child mortality rate. You guys are going to hate me for this. How do you differentiate between the child death rate and child mortality rate? But that's how bad the PSM is. Child death rate is death of children age one to four years. Divided by total children of same age group. What is child mortality rate? Child mortality rate is total deaths of under 5 deaths in under 5 children. Divided by deaths in under 5 children. Divided by total life births. Total life births into 1000. So that is what is child mortality rate. Child death rate into 100 near into 1000. Please note a small correction. It is not into 100. It is uh, by 1000. Beta Sarat Sankar, it is not 1 to 4 year by mid-year population. No, that is incorrect. It is 1 to 4 years divided by total children of the same age group, 1 to 4 year children into 1000. It is per 1000. It is not per 100. Thanks, Kunal Mundela, for uh, rectifying the mistake. And child mortality rate is death of under 5 children divided by the total live births into 1000. Please note child death rate alag baat hai, child mortality rate alag baat hai. Okay, so what? why do we have a child death rate? What is the most common cause of death of children age 1 to 4 years? It is correct answer. Many of you gave me correct answer. It is septicemia. Septicemia followed by pneumonias and followed by other infections. And followed by other infections. Absolutely correct. So please note that this is the data that you need to remember for your exams. What is the child mortality rate? It is 32 per 1,000 live births. Infant mortality rate, same answer per 1,000 live births. Same answer per 1,000 live births. What is neonatal mortality rate? Same answer per 1,000 live births. Early neonatal, 15 per 1,000. Late neonatal, 5. Post neonatal, perinatal, stillbirth rate and maternal. In me se beta, is sab nahi chahiye. You just need to remember what is child mortality rate, what is infant mortality rate, neonatal mortality rate. Then you need to remember what is perinatal mortality rate. If you want, you can remember early neonatal also. But baki ki is bilkul zarurat nahi hai. These what I have shaded is what you need to remember. 
यस बेटा न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर अलग तो नहीं है बट यस दे आर स्लाइटली डिफरेंट एंड दैट्स हाउ द फॉर्मूला इज वेरी नाइस चैतन्य कुलकर्णी यू हैव अ गुड इनसाइट एंड आपने डीपली देखा फॉर्मूला को बिल्कुल ठीक पकड़े आप कि थोड़ा सा इसमें मिसमैच है बट दैट्स हाउ इट इज द टोटल लाइव बर्थ जो हो रहे हैं एंड uh, कितने अंडर फाइव डेथ्स देख रहे हैं एंड दैट्स हाउ वी कैलकुलेट दैट इज द करेक्ट फॉर्मूला और ऐसा ही है चैतन्य वेरी नाइस एंड वट एवर आई हाईलाइटेड यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस दीज आर द इम्पोर्टेंट डेटा for you to remember this is the important data for you to remember okay <coughs> so coming back to this game which of the following is the leading cause of under 5 mortality kya bolna chahte ho which of the following is the leading cause of under 5 mortality answer is prematurity absolutely correct under 5 mortality and child mortality is same chaitanya it is same under 5 mortality and child mortality is same तनवीर अहमद सॉरी दैट वाज नॉट चैतन्य तनवीर अहमद सर यहाँ न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर अलग हुआ ना मोर्टालिटी रेट चाइल्ड मोर्टालिटी का एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट रेशो हुआ ना नो इट्स नॉट अ रेशो इट इज चाइल्ड मोर्टालिटी रेट आउट ऑफ टोटल लाइफ बर्थ हम देखते हैं अंडर फाइव डेथ्स कितनी है तनवीर अहमद आई एम प्राउड ऑफ यू आपने ध्यान से देखा फॉर्मूला को विद गुड डेथ वेरी नाइस सॉरी फॉर कंफ्यूजिंग द नेम्स सो लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन Demographic gap is maximally seen in which stage? Demographic gap is maximally seen in which stage? What do you want to say? Demographic gap is seen in which stage? Is maximally seen in? फटा फट से बोलो ये तो simple questions आ गए अब so we are done with mother and child health. Maximally seen in stage two, absolutely correct. Very nice stage two. Very quick review of what is demographic gaps. so this is what you need to remember this is a very quick screenshot you can take and this is a, a very crisp uh, table that you guys have already made in your copies all those students who have attended my live sessions you must have made the summary table so in phase 1 i'll just quickly cruise through what is important for you to remember so that you can just keep on highlighting in phase 1 there is high birth rate high death rate no mcq in phase 2 please note it is early expanding it is high birth rate with death rate start declining that is what you need to remember death rate start declining in what stage death rate will start declining in stage 2 in stage 2 these all have been mcqs these all have been mcqs all the time explosive growth is seen in stage 2 demographic gap starts increasing in stage 2 maximum demographic gap towards the late part and there is high fertility rate in stage 2 in stage 3 please note that the focus is that the birth rate will start to decline the birth rate will start to decline and there is a slow decline in the death rate nothing special in please remember that in phase 3 phase 3 there is increasing population but the growth rate is lower lesser than the stage 2 demographic gap starts decreasing demographic gift and the bonus is there dependency ratios are lower if you remember demographic gift what is demographic gift it is higher number of economically productive population it is more number of economically productive population it is higher number of economically productive population that is what is the demographic gift it is seen in which stage it is seen in stage 3 and 4 but if you get the single best answer kaun si stage mein milega it is seen in stage 3 it is seen in stage 3 right नेक्स्ट इज द लो स्टेशनरी लो स्टेशनरी में क्या होगा लो स्टेशनरी स्टेज देर विल बी स्लो डिक्लाइन इन बर्थ रेट एंड स्लो डिक्लाइन इन द डेथ रेट इट इज आइडियल स्टेज लो लाइबिलिटीज एंड डिक्लाइनिंग स्टेज इज डाइंग पॉपुलेशन देर इज मिनिमम डी जी देर इज मिनिमम डी जी सो प्लीज रिमेंबर ऑल दीज दैट आई हैव हाईलाइटेड दीज हैव बीन एम सी क्यूज मोस्टली मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर फॉर योर एग्जाम एज वेल सो द बेस्ट आंसर ओवर हियर demographic gap is maximally seen in stage 2 that is correct answer contraception for a 4 week lactating female kya bolna chahte ho contraception for a 4 week lactating female next question what do you want to say contraception for a 4 week lactating female iud combined oc pills antra today sponge or chaya pills what do you want to say osi pills four week lactating female hai char hafte ki lactating female hai so iud's 
कंबाइंड ओसेपिल्स अंतरा इंजेक्शन टूडे स्पॉन्ज छाया पिल्स वट यू वॉन्ट से सम विल से ए सम से बी मनीष से इज ए अस्मिता समरवल से इज ए बहुत सारे लोग ए कह रहे हैं मनीष सुन लिया भाई मेरे मनीष से इज ए इज करेक्ट वेरी नाइस ए बहुत सारे टिक आ गए ए ए ए ए अक्षय रमबथिनी अक्षय अक्षय रमबिथिनी ए मोहित ए अंकित रॉय ए श्रद्धा शिंदे सॉरी फॉर स्पेलिंग आउट रॉन्ग नेम्स इफ आई इफ आई मेक सम एरर्स प्लीज फॉर गिव मी दिस इज नॉट इंटेंशनल गलती से हो जाता है समटाइम्स बिकॉज आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ समथिंग एल्स रन एंड राइटिंग एंड इधर से आपका चैट बॉक्स भी पढ़ रहा हूँ सो प्लीज फॉर गिव मी इफ आई टेक रॉन्ग नेम्स सो इफ आई प्रोनाउंस योर नेम रॉन्गली प्लीज फॉर गिव मी सो Uraj, Majid, A. Everybody says A. Okay, बहुत सौ लोग ए कह रहे हैं बेटा चार हफ्ते की लेक्टेटिंग फीमेल है काहे को तुम लोग उसको आई यू डी लगाओगे मुझे ये बताओ आई यू डी कब लगाना सिखाया तुम्हें वेन डिड आई से दैट फोर वीक फीमेल को आई यू डी लगाना मुझे ये बताओ डिड आई एवर से इन द क्लास इतने लोग पब्लिक ए कह रहे हैं मनीष ई e, e हो गया अब करेक्ट तुम्हारा ये सही है मनीष का भाई का ये मुझे बताओ ना वेन डिड आई से दैट फोर वीक लैक्टेटिंग फीमेल को ये आईयूडी लगाएंगे डिड आई एवर से दिस इन क्लास नो बिग नो आईयूडी कब लगाते हैं बेटा आइदर यू पुट इट विद इन फोर्टी एट ट्वेंटी फोर्टी एट आवर्स और यू गिव इट आफ्टर फोर्टी टू डेज ये ही नहीं सिखा आपने विद इन टेन मिनट्स पोस्ट प्लस एंटल होता है टेन मिनट्स टू फोर्टी एट आवर्स पोस्ट पार्टम होता है आफ्टर फोर्टी टू डेज इट इज इंटरवल आई ये किया आपने सो वाई डू यू मेक मिस्टेक्स नाउ है ना सो डोंट मेक सच मिस्टेक्स है ना मनीष मनीष ने अब देखे अपने नोट्स बिल्कुल सही बात है नोट्स देखेंगे तभी तो याद आएगा बिल्कुल ठीक है मनीष दैट्स हाउ यू शुड बी छह हफ्ते के बाद यही करा था क्लास में क्यों बोल रहे हो जज्बात बदल गए भाई मेरे के जज्बात ही बदल गए कोई बात नहीं जज्बातों को संभाल के रखो ये तो कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन है अभी तो आगे और आएगा चीजें है ना <coughs> सो कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन फोर वीक फीमेल आई यू डी इज द मोस्ट रद्दी आंसर एवरीबडी सब लोग ए बोल रहे थे तो चलिए यार हम भी ए बोल देते हैं ऐसा गलत है बेटा कंबाइंड ओसेपिल्स इज ऑल्सो नॉट करेक्ट बिकॉज अगर आप ये ग्राफ देखो बेटा इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सी दिस ग्राफ इस ग्राफ में आप देख सकते हैं अगर फीमेल ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग है अगर फीमेल ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग है वेन डू यू स्टार्ट विद ओसेपिल्स कैन यू सी ओसेपिल्स कब शुरू करते हैं ओसेपिल्स आर ओनली स्टार्टेड एट सिक्स मंथस है ना Yom chi sari fai. Wow, what a language! I mean, I couldn't understand. So Yom chi sari fai, Muhammad Mohsin. So six months of age. Boy, ye kaun si bahasa hai? Yom chi sari fai. Akati ye anya wa. Ye kaun hai, boy? Muhammad Mohsin. Ye wo. What language is it? Ye PSM language hai kya? Ye apke ghar banai PSM hai. So six months of age, beta. We give ossipils. This is to be started at six months of age. In non-breastfeeding females, this can be your MCQ. Breastfeeding, non-breastfeeding females, ossipils can be started at three weeks. Ossipils can be started at three weeks, right? So combined ossipils, non-breastfeeding is three weeks. So if I write small, small here, that when to give ossipils? Ossipils, if female breastfeeding, it is done after six months. Ossipils, if female breastfeeding, it is done after six months. Ossipils, if female breastfeeding, it is done after six months. Ossipils, if female breastfeeding, it is done after six months. In case the female is non-breastfeeding, it can be given after three weeks. Am I clear on this? Intrauterine device, female breastfeeding or non-breastfeeding? It Chinese thi upar de, huh? Chinese language. Or kuch likho ya Chinese me Chinese me what is intrauterine device in Chinese? All the students, batao phada phad se IUD ko Chinese me kya bolte hain? Chalo bhi tumara test shuru hua. IUD ko Chinese me kya bolte hain? वैसे हो तुम जो मर्जी लिखवा दो मैं बोल ही दूंगा पता चले कोई गाली लिखवा रहे हो तुम लोग रहने ही दो तुम मत मत बोलना मुझे क्या लिख बोलते हैं चाइनीज है पता चले यू टेल मी सम बैड वर्ड्स एंड आई स्पीक स्पीक ऑन अ पब्लिक फोरम सो आई यू डी बेटा इंट्रा यूट्राइन डिवाइस इंट्रा यूट्राइन डिवाइस वेदर द फीमेल इज ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग और नॉन ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग वट इट इज इन केस द फीमेल इज ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग और नॉन ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग वट इट इज इट हैज टू बी इंसर्टेड विद इन फोर्टी एट आवर्स दैट इज विद इन टू डेज or it has to be inserted after 42 days <coughs> simple very simple then is next is antra injection antra ke upar sawal aate hain antra injection <coughs> e bhai <coughs> 
antra injection beta antra injection if the female is breastfeeding in case the female is breastfeeding it has to be started after 42 days and in case the non breastfeeding female please remember non breastfeeding female the female can give can be given antra injection any time any time after delivery any time after delivery so antra injection can be given any time in non breastfeeding females in breastfeeding females we give antra only after 6 weeks so bas ye teen char cheeze hain jo aapko pata hone chahiye and any time what is the contraception of choice ccoc what is the contraception of choice just immediate after delivery so post delivery what is the contraception we can give it is b best answer is pop or we can give chaya or we can give chaya so that is uh, the contraception of choice samajh gaye did you get this point that in case a female comes to you after lactation what is the best answer you will give pop agar pop nahi lena usko to next best answer that we can have is chaya tablets what are chaya tablets these are scent chromane scent chromane this is scent chromane or we call it as or meloxifen that is the that is the chemical name of scent chromane or meloxifen okay so let's go back to this mcq choice of contraception for four week lactating female abhi lactating hai iud nahi laga sakte ocipils nahi de sakte they can be given only after six months right antra injections yes they can be given antra injections can be given after six weeks you remember abhi humne likha today sponge is not to be given in uh, post delivery it may cause infection so what is the best answer it is chaya pills 30 mg weekly kya bar manish manish ne dose bhi yaad kar rakhi aur hum sab ko unhone bataya manish ne aapka bahut bahut thank you hai manish bhai manish says 30 mg weekly tablets these are weekly tablets how do you start female ko start kaise karna hai manish <coughs> uh i'll address to this guy quad so start kaise karte how do you start chaya tablets the chaya tablets has to be started as twice weekly for three months and then we give it as weekly so initially loading those thodi si zyada hai uh okay very nice uh, bi weekly dete hain yogendra sonwani absolutely correct opendra gaikwad ka ek doubt aaya sir during your lectures you said we give levonorgestrel 1 mg but in part 22nd it is still 0.75 usko wahan se kaat ke apne notes mein bhi kaat lo beta when did i say that levonorgestrel is 1 mg galat answer hai it is 1.5 mg it is not 1 mg it is 1.5 mg और जहां आपके पार्क टेक्स्ट बुक में 0.75 लिखा हुआ है उसको आप काट दीजिए उसकी जगह 1.5 लिख दीजिए वैसे मैं बता दूं 27th एडिशन में इट्स नॉट 0.75 इट इज गिवन एज 1.5 मिलीग्राम सो वन नहीं है 1.5 थैंक यू सो मच एवरीबॉडी फॉर करेक्टिंग मी एंड फॉर करेक्टिंग उपेंद्र एज वेल सो 1.5 है है ना यही है ना आंसर सो 1.5 इज द करेक्ट आंसर बेटा नो कंफ्यूजन ट्रस्ट ट्रस्ट द सोर्सेज माना करो बात को इसके इसके ऊपर इधर उधर धक्के खाने की जरूरत नहीं है बेटा बहुत साल हो गए यही गेम खेलते को यही नाच करते हो बहुत साल हो गए ये सही आंसर है है ना सो व्हाट इज द बेस्ट आंसर ओवर हियर द बेस्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज छाया पिल्स फोर वीक लैक्टेटिंग फीमेल्स है एंड दिस इज छाया पिल्स ओके चलो आ देयर इज वन मोर थिंग व्हाट इज एमईसी एमईसी क्या होता है मेडिकल एलिजिबिलिटी व्हील ये आपने शायद क्लासेस में नहीं सुना होगा बट वैसे ही मैंने ये लेक्चर में डाल दिया तो ये ऐड ऑन हो गया आपकी इंफॉर्मेशन में व्हाट इज एमईसी मेडिकल एलिजिबिलिटी व्हील होता है एक हमारे पास तो ये व्हील इट्स समथिंग लाइक ऐसा दो दो पेजेस होते हैं सो इट्स समथिंग लाइक व्हिच रोटेट्स ऑन इट सो इसमें हम क्या करते हैं फीमेल का फीमेल का उसका जो स्टेटस है she is lactating she is non lactating she has any liver disease she has kidney disease she has any comorbidity thyroid disease hai obese hai overweight hai ghar mein tanav hai tension hai kuch bhi problem hai na usme bane hue hain so we just put that we just put that together and we see ke kaun sa yahan pe numbers aa jayenge so 1 2 0 4 3 2 aisa karke matching numbers aa jayenge so wherever it is 1 use any method two is generally used method three means 
it is not recommended four means method is contraindicated okay are you getting this so jin ke aage one aaya you can use them two bhi use kar sakte ho zero to hai nahi uh, three use kar sakte hain three use with caution four nahi use kar sakte and two you can use are you getting this one is the best answer so the choice of contraception will be there in front of you depending on any physiological state of the female and the contraceptives available agar aap dhyan se dekhein ye sare contraceptives available hote hain hamare paas most of them in government of india so what is medical eligibility criteria wheel it will tell us which contraceptions is available for use by client which contraception is available for use by client this is what is mec medical eligibility wheel this is what is mec medical eligibility wheel let us go to the next mcq total number of daughters a female will bear during her reproductive years assuming the current pattern for age specific fertility rate is known as sir 0.752 to de sakte hain nahi beta that is wrong answer that is old answer 0.75 purana answer hai so what is the best answer yaar tum log abhi npr kya hota hai what is npr n एन एफ आर भी किसी ने आंसर किया आइडियल <coughs> छोड़ो वट इज द बेस्ट आंसर वाई डू से डी यार तुम्हारा लोगों का कुछ नहीं हो सकता हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव अटेंडेड माई क्लासेज हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव अटेंडेड माई ऑफलाइन क्लासेज ये ऑफलाइन क्लासेज में वी डिड इट सो मेनी टाइम्स वी डिड दिस सो मेनी टाइम्स हाउ कैन यू से डी डी आंसर गलत हो गया बेटा you have to see the number of daughters a female will bear in her reproductive years assuming the current pattern for age specific fertility rates do hi cheeze to dekhni hai aapko yahi dekhna hai na ke number of daughters pucha ya live birth pucha and then you have to see the asfr ya tum log dant khane ke baad zyada sahi answer karte ho sahi hai tumhara matlab if i scold you then you answer very nice very nice that's what i should be doing एक दफा तुम्हें जोर से बोल लो तो फिर तुम्हारा आंसर सही में ठीक हो जाता है पहले इधर उधर की बातें करता है कोई ए लिखता है कोई डी लिखता है डी पब्लिक ज्यादा लिखती है डू डू दिस टू मी मैंने तुम्हारा कुछ बिगाड़ा है क्या कितना तो समझाया तुम्हें क्लासेस में दैट द आंसर हैज टू बी सी दैट वेन एवर देखना है यू जस्ट सी द नंबर ऑफ डॉटर्स कितना समझाया नहीं है तुम्हें क्लास में कंफ्यूजन हो गया था यार कंफ्यूजन के चक्कर में स्कोर कम आ जाएगा मेरा और तुम्हारा खुद का भी ऐसे नहीं करना कंफ्यूजन नहीं करना टोटल गर्ल्स ग्रॉस वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस अब याद आया ना गर्ल्स पूछा था टोटल नंबर ऑफ डॉटर्स पूछा ना तो डॉटर्स बोला विद एज स्पेसिफिक फर्टिलिटी रेट बोला तो वाई डू यू से एन आर आर इट इज नॉट एन आर आर एन आर आर आपने तब तक नहीं बोलना एन आर आर बेटा आपने तब तक नहीं बोलना जब तक दे डोंट से एज स्पेसिफिक डेथ रेट जब तक डेथ की बात ना हो और मोर्टैलिटी की बात ना हो टिल दैट टाइम यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू से एन आर आर एन आर आर इज अ रॉन्ग आंसर So, यहाँ पे क्या आंसर है द आंसर हैज टू बी ग्रॉस रिप्रोडक्शन रेट दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट इफ यू गॉट इट नाउ सही है ध्यान <coughs> से सुनो फिर से सुनो यार ये कहानी कितनी दफा तुम मुझसे सुनोगे ये जी एफ आर वॉट देर आर दीज आर फोर थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर जी एफ आर टी एफ आर जी आर आर एन आर आर ये चार चीजें आपको पढ़नी है the indicator that you need to remember is only two indicators gfr or tfr and then on the other hand we can have grr or nrr so that means there are only basically two types of indicators either we can have something which is a fertility rate or we can have something which is a reproduction rate there are only two things for us either we can have a fertility rate or we can have a reproduction rate फर्टिलिटी रेट आप कब कहेंगे वेन देर इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन अगर आप टोटल नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन की बात करें आंसर हैज टू बी फर्टिलिटी रेट एंड इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डॉटर्स आंसर हैज टू बी रिप्रोडक्शन रेट सिंपल नेक्स्ट इन लाइन यू हैव टू सी इफ दे टॉक अबाउट इफ दे टॉक अबाउट एज स्पेसिफिक फर्टिलिटी रेट इट आईदर हैज टू बी अ टोटल फर्टिलिटी रेट और ग्रॉस रिप्रोडक्शन रेट अगर यहाँ पे 
एज स्पेसिफिक फर्टिलिटी रेट्स भी आए एंड एज स्पेसिफिक डेथ रेट भी आए डेथ जहां पे आया तो इट हैज टू बी एन आर आर एंड नथिंग एल्स इतना सिंपल फंडा है इस इतने सिंपल फंडे में कितनी बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है आपको कि आप बार बार एक ही क्वेश्चन को अलग अलग तरीके से गलत आंसर भी कर सकते हो सर प्लीज सेट एंड स्टी टीच क्यों भाई मैं मतलब यू डोंट लाइक मी स्टैंडिंग और व्हाट What is the answer? If the first word says total number of children, either it has to be a GFR or it has to be TFR. What is the better answer? TFR. If the first word says total number of daughters, then the answer has to be a reproduction rate, either GRR or NRR. Better answer is NRR. But if the question says death is not accounted, then the answer cannot be NRR. Then the answer has to be GRR. Right? Chalo. Total number of daughters that a female will bear during her reproductive years. I hope you don't get this wrong again in your exam. Let us go to the next MCQ. Let us go to the next MCQ, beta. Which of the following is not correct for National Family Health Survey? Which of the following is not correct for National Family Health Survey? It is conducted by Ministry of Human Resource and Development, conducted every five years. Latest report are available for NFHS five, conducted by using four schedules. so which of the following is not correct you have to find the not correct so which of the following are not correct for national family health survey psm people are very cool people are bhai thank you very much but baki psm logo se bhi milo ja ke aapko pata chalega so which of the following is not correct for national family health survey anyways with due respect to everyone so psm people is a always cool people because psm is a very cool branch and i'm very proud to say that all the psm faculties everybody who's doing psm is one of the best person and they are in the best branch so which of the following is not correct for national family health survey which is not correct galat batana b every 10 years imran sadiqi census hota hai 10 saal baad kaun si duniya ki baat karte ho tum log kahan se aaye ho census census beta 10 years ke baad hota hai nfhs national family health survey likha hai so why do you say b many people are saying b b you want to say answer b conducted by using four schedules national family health survey bipul says a very nice ishke riyas says a by institute of population sciences absolutely correct bache it is under ministry of health and family welfare it is not under ministry of human resource it is under ministry of health and family welfare this is the incorrect answer not correct so it is conducted every 5 years this is true latest reports are available for nfhs 5 which was conducted in 2019 till 2020 and report was published in 21 22 so this is also true conducted by using four schedules this is also true a few points about nfhs national family health survey but a national family health survey number 5 it was from 2019 till 2020 the survey was conducted and 21 was the publishing year it is conducted by ministry of health and family welfare under the international institute of population sciences iips ke tahat hota hai ye international institute of population sciences so under the international institute of population sciences which is under ministry of health and family welfare हम ये करते हैं नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे सो इन नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट न्यू टॉपिक्स एज प्री स्कूल एजुकेशन हैज बीन इंक्लूडेड वेस्ट एंड हिप सर्कमफ्रेंसेस ब्लड प्रेशर एंड ब्लड ग्लूकोज प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट एचआईवी टेस्टिंग नहीं होती प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट नो एचआईवी टेस्टिंग इज डन इन एनएफएचएस एचआईवी टेस्टिंग इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे There are four schedules. Schedule का मतलब होता है annexure. Annexure मतलब these are four uh, question papers we have. We have separate for male, separate for female. We also have a separate for biomarker that is to check their blood glucose, Hb levels. So इसमें हम blood glucose check करते हैं patients का. Blood glucose. 
hemoglobin levels, hypertension levels, and so on. And we also do household parameters like what type of family planning methods, literacy rates, literacy rates, occupation, delivery status, um, immunization status, so many things. Household level questionnaire is also there. So there are four schedules. Ye yaad rakhlo, char schedule hote hai. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare ke under hai. Aur isme HIV testing hum nahi karte. These are some important data for you to remember. Itne saare data ki zarurat nahi hai. Main sirf aapko highlight kar raho. Whatever you want to remember for your this upcoming exam. Total fertility rate is important beta. Sex ratio important hai. You should be knowing sex ratio. How much is the couple protection rate? Couple protection rate is total females who are using any type of contraception. 66% is couple protection rate. Then you should know that how, man, how much is the institutional birth in India? It is 88.6. And that's all. Stunting, wasting, underweight for age. Pata hona total how many children are underweight for age? So, jahan jahan maine star mark mara hai, these are the things that you should be knowing for your exam. You should also know that how much is the prevalence of anemia in under five children. Anemia in children, it is 67, two third of all children under five, it is 67% is anemic. In reproductive age group, roughly 60% are anemic, right? So that's all the things that you need to know. Ah, total dependency ratio in India, it is 48.74. That is the total dependency ratio. So whatever I have marked as star beta, this can be important and this can be asked. Teen cheese yahan pe hai. Ek, do, teen, char, panch, panch cheese hai. Pe. Total eight things you need to remember. This is the latest data from NFHS National Family Health Survey. You have already done this. That what is the infant mortality rate? That is 28. What is the crude birth rate? Crude birth rate in India, that is 19.5. And the crude death rate in India, that is 6.0. Crude death rate in India, that is 6.0. Crude birth rate is 19.5 and the infant mortality rate, that is 28. Which state in India has the highest birth rate? The highest birth rate is in state of Bihar, whereas the lowest birth rate is in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Infant mortality has been known to be highest in Madhya Pradesh. Lowest ko chhordo. And uh, you have already done the sex ratio, total fertility rate and under 5 mortality rate. Death rate, you can leave it. And natural growth rate is simple birth rate minus death rate. That is every year what we get as natural growth rate. So, bas ye hi aapko hai from NFHS point of view, NFHS ke question pe chalte hai, which of the following is not correct? We have already done. It is conducted by Ministry of Human Resource and Development. That is incorrect answer because it is conducted by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Chalo, let's go to the next MCQ very fast. Let's go to the next MCQ. What do you mean by Pearls Index? What is fully immunized, completely immunized, and target couple and eligible couple? What do you mean by Pearls Index, beta? Pearls Index is given by number of accidental pregnancies. It is given by the formula total number of accidental pregnancies. Total number of accidental pregnancies divided by the women years of exposure. Women years, number of females into the number of years they are exposed into 100. That is the technical formula for women for pearls index. In case they tell you that it is not women years, in case it is women months, in those cases, then you have to multiply it by 12. So answer will be 1200. So please note it's not 12,000, beta 1200. So pearls index. Next is what is fully immunized child? F for fully, F for first. So all due vaccines, all due vaccines till one year of age is called as fully immunized. Kaise yaad rakhenge? F for fully, F for first. F for fully, F for first. First is fully. F for fully, F for first. First year of age. What is completely immunized? Same answer, completely immunized. All due vaccines till two years of age. So all vaccines which have been done in two years of age, that is completely immunized. Fully immunized child ko kab aap measure karte ho? 12 months to 23 months pe, you will assess the child. Did they take the first year vaccine, which is a better indicator? It is always fully immunized child is a better indicator. 
what is target couple what is eligible couple beta what is a target couple target couple is a couple who has who has completed family completed family and has at least and has at least one live child and has at least one live child that is what is target couple what is eligible couple eligible couple is a couple in which the female is in women of reproductive age group in which the female is in reproductive age group beta eligible couple will use contraceptions and target couple will use sterilizations sterilization is for target couple and contraception is for eligible couples so target for permanent sterilization absolutely correct riaz you remember that in your classes coming to the next one which of the following is not correct for ge vaccinations which of the following is not correct for ge vaccinations what do you want to answer routine immunization is done in two doses at 9 months and 16 24 months ge killed vaccine is now introduced in the routine immunization adult immunization is done in 15 to 65 in 38 districts in three states in india in campaign mode only one ge vaccine is all given to all individuals aged less than 65 years what do you want to say so which of the following is not correct for ge vaccine which is not correct. The good doctor says B. Moon Pai says A. Routine immunization is done in two doses at nine months and 16, 24 months. That's not correct. Himanshu says B. A, B. So, Kafi students A bol rahe, Kafi students B bol rahe. Sir Faraz Alam says D. Delta. Yogendra Sonwani B. A. Sir Faraz, aapne D kyu bola? Delta kyu bola? Why did you say D? One JE vaccine is given to all individuals aged less than 65 years in campaign mode. So what is the best answer? How can you correct this? Option D is the correct answer. A, B, nahi hai, beta. A and B, nahi hai. In campaign mode, one JE is given to age less than 65 years. This is incorrect. It is given in cases of only till 15 years it is not 65 till 15 years of age absolutely correct wonderful answers Pratik Singh absolutely correct very nice it is epidemic based and one in campaign after epidemics we give one G to age less than 15 years and not 65 Sarfaraz Alam very nice <coughs> rule out ka dimag laga ke answer is D absolutely correct very nice answer is option D this was a slightly difficult MCQ. Difficult is why you have to put a little bit of your mind. Beta, you knew every word. Now, if I will explain it, you will understand it. In India, I have talked to you a lot in your exam. In your classes also, I have already talked to you that in India, earlier we were using a JE live vaccine and now we are shifted from a JE live vaccine towards a JE killed vaccine. What is the name of the JE killed vaccine? It is under the brand name of Genvac given by Bharat Biotech. This Genvac vaccine, it is a Virocell vaccine. It has a live, uh, the live vaccine, the live vaccine which we were using, it was having a Chinese strain SA-14-14-2. That was a Chinese strain. That was a Chinese strain. And now we have shifted over from the Chinese strain to a Kolar strain, that is from the epidemic in Kolar. We took out the strain. If you can remember this number, but you just should know, that it is what we are using is a Kolar strain 821564XY strain. So this is the JE killed vaccine. And it is obtained from National Institute of Virology. They made this, they help us make this vaccine. And it is a freeze sensitive vaccine. Please note, it has to be shaken before use. And in case we found it to be frozen, we don't use it. So this vaccine can be used within 48 hours after opening the vial. So is it under open vial policy? The new killed vaccine? Yes, it is again. Now it is not under open vial policy. You cannot keep it for 28 days. It has to be used within 48 hours. So earlier we were using a South African SA-1442 strain, Chinese strain. So JE endemic districts in India, we have a lot of, we have G1 to G4 as the JE virus strains. G1 to G4 as the JE virus strains. And very recently, very recently, very recently, beta, we have this whole country which is having Japanese encephalitis problem in this state of West Bengal and state of Uttar Pradesh. They recently witnessed G1 virus epidemics. 
G1 virus epidemics were uh, seen in West Bengal and in Uttar Pradesh. And that was one of the reasons that we had to shift from a live vaccine towards a killed vaccine because killed vaccine was showing a better zero conversion, better antibody response to G1 strain. And the live vaccine did not have that much antibody response to the G1 strain. Looking at the live attenuated vaccine and the Genvac vaccine, but a live attenuated vaccine that is given as two primary doses, we already remember we were giving at nine months of age and 16 to 24 months of age. You already know this. So now the if you talk about the cross protection, there was no data available. It was primarily for G3 and G4. But yes, it was acting on G1, G2 as well. But now with the Genvac vaccine, it is known to act on all G1, G2, G3, and G4. These are Gs. These are the types of the JE virus beta. So you have JE virus due to uh, G1, G2, G3, G4. So it also gives a better long-term protection and it has better uh, safety and better immunogenicity. So in all respects, it is Genvac is better. It is given as single primary dose, but we give it as at nine months of age and at 16, 24 months of age. This the second vaccine, it is called as a booster dose, right? So we are not giving as two primary doses. It is given as two booster doses. And this Genvac vaccine, it is given as intramuscular in the anterolateral thigh left side. OK, this is also in all other states. We had to introduce the FIPV3. So Mayank, you remember from the classes I discussed with you that absolutely correct. Initially, we had to introduce the FIPV3 and therefore we had to shift from a live attenuated given the subcutaneous area. We had to shift from the live attenuated to the anterolateral thigh intramuscular injection. That is what is the Genvac. Beta, this is the image for the Genvac vaccine. Genvac vaccine, Japanese encephalitis inactivated adsorbed vaccine given by Bharat Biotech. This is the newly introduced vaccine. It has been already introduced to over 300 districts in India. Total 340 districts are, are endemic for Japanese encephalitis out of the 750 districts that we have in India. So 300 are having JE virus problem. So this is the Genvac vaccine. It uh, comes already, it comes with a Genvac vaccine with, a, you can say, a phosphate uh, buffer which is there. And these are available for in government of India. So coming back to this question, routine immunization is done in two doses at nine months and 16, 24 months. This is true answer. Killed vaccine is now introduced. This is also true answer. Adult is done in 6, 15 to 65. This is also true beta. This is a, an information for you that under the national immunization schedule, all vaccines are for children except TD vaccine under the NIS. All vaccines are for children except TD vaccine, which is given for pregnant females and J, which is also given to adults. Adults, what age group? 15 to 65 years. So 15 to 65 years adult age group is given in 38 districts out of the 350 districts and the three states in India adult immunization is also done. So what is the best answer? In campaign mode, J vaccine is given till 65 years. That is incorrect. It is given till 15 years. Okay, so yeah, 30, 40 minutes more for the class, 30 minutes more for the class. Which vaccine is not included in adult immunization schedule? So which vaccine is not included in adult immunization schedule? TD vaccine, yes, it is included. It is given in pregnant females. Influenza, yes, it can be given. Pneumococcal, yes, it can be given. Please note meningococcal vaccine is not a part of the adult immunization. It is only for high-risk cases. So high-risk cases who are having exposure to the meningococcal vaccines, so meningococcal infections, they will be given the meningococcal vaccines. So if you're getting bored, just let me know. I'll try to speed up things. And if you want just the questions and the answers, if you want to change anything, I'm always welcome to do that. So in case you are able to enjoy the explanations, that's very nice. But in case you want me to just cruise through the MCQs, I'll be more than happy to cruise through the MCQs and finish off the topic early. Just let me know if you want to change something. So we can Mayank enjoy kar raha bas. Mayank hi hai bas. Jo enjoy kar raha hai na. 
स्पीड अप स्पीड अप यस यस स्पीड अप वी विल स्पीड अप इमरान सदीकी सब कुछ तो पढ़ रखा है बेटा दिस इज रिकमेंडेड एडल्ट इम्यूनाइजेशन फॉर यू गाइस सो टीडी बूस्टर इज टू बी गिवन 10 ईयरली वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड ऑन टेटनस जोस्टर इंफेक्शंस इट्स वन डोज आफ्टर 60 इयर्स अर्ली इन केस ऑफ इंडिकेशंस इफ दे आर प्रेजेंट इन्फ्लुएंजा सिंगल डोज एनुअली आफ्टर 50 इयर्स and ppv vaccine that is pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine one dose after 65 years this is the recommended adult immunization so only in case indicated in case indicated we give hepatitis a hepatitis b and meningococcal vaccines okay so this is what is the cdc guidelines this is what is the cdc guidelines थर्टी मार्क्स का सब्जेक्ट है इंजॉय करो ना करो पढ़ना तो पड़ेगा बट यू मे इंजॉय यू नॉट इंजॉय बट एटलीस्ट आई इंजॉय माई क्लासेस आई लव वॉट आई डू एंड आई विल लव ऑलवेज आई विल कीप ऑन डूइंग वट एवर आई लव सो विच वैक्सीन इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन एडल्ट इम्यूनाइजेशन आंसर इज मेनिंगो कोकल वैक्सीन मेनिंगो कोकल वैक्सीन नेक्स्ट इज इलेवन मंथ ओल्ड अन इम्यूनाइज चाइल्ड कम फॉर इम्यूनाइजेशन विच आर द फॉलोइंग वैक्सीन विल बी गिवन इन दिस विजिट ध्यान से आंसर करना so try to answer this uh, 11 month old unimmunized child coming for immunization which of the following vaccine will be given in this visit what do you want to say bcg opv dpt hepatitis b bcg mr only opv pentavalent mr bcg pentavalent fip rotavirus and mr vaccine what do you want to say a b c or d which of the following is the correct paper is is the way easy aayega what do you want to say OPV, pentavalent and MR, 11 months unimmunized child. Please remember, 11 months unimmunized child. What is the immunization schedule? If you look at the immunization schedule, you already know that at birth, six, ten, and fourteen, nine months of age, sixteen, twenty-four, and five to six years. At birth, we are giving these three vaccines: BCG, OPV, hepatitis B. At six, ten, fourteen, we are giving these OPV, one, two, three, pentavalent, one, two, three. Rota one two three, FIPV one and two, and PCV one and two. At nine months of age, measles, rubella one, JE one, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine booster, FIPV three. At sixteen to twenty four months, DPT booster, OPV booster, all boosters. Five six years, it's only the DPT booster, and ten to ten and sixteen years, it is TD vaccine. So, if eleven months of eleven months unimmunized child, hai, if the child is eleven months unimmunized. 11 months unimmunized so what is the vaccine we can give beta for vaccines you should remember what is the max age the max age that we can give these vaccines opv and mr can be given till 5 years pentavalent fipv rotavirus bcg can be given till 1 year and pcv also dpt is given till 7 years je till 15 years hepatitis b birth dose it is given till 24 hours zero dose till 15 days so if you understand this the max age then which of the following vaccines will you give bcg will you give yes or no yes pentavalent yes fipv yes rotavirus yes mr yes so opv yes penta yes mr yes bcg yes mr yes bcg yes opv yes dpt no and hepatitis no so all three are the correct answers out of these three which are the best answer you would like to choose so i would like to choose this answer and of course plus opv should have been in the answer but all said and done which is the best answer over here the best answer over here is bcg i made this mcq just to confuse you ke yaar koi bhi option puri nahi hai in your exam many times you get such questions so bahut it's not something which is unfrequent which is not frequent so it is frequent to have confusing options b is correct c is correct d is also correct है ना सब कुछ दे सकते हैं ना सो बट द पॉइंट इज दैट विच इज द बेस्ट आंसर द बेस्ट आंसर यू वुड लाइक टू मार्क ओवर हियर इज ऑप्शन डी ओके ऑप्शन डी इज द बेस्ट पॉसिबल आंसर सम स्टूडेंट वाज टॉकिंग टू मी ऑन टेलीग्राम ग्रुप दे वांटेड दिस इमेज बेटा दिस आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू से ये इमेज कहीं से उठाई नहीं गई है मेरी आर्टिस्टिक कला है ये ये मैंने खुद ड्रॉ किया है ये अपने हाथ से ड्रॉ किया हुआ बच्चा है so ye bacche ko in fact maine bhi nahi draw kiya this has been drawn by my daughter and uh, the right upper arm mein kaun sa vaccine lagta hai measles rubella 
and FIPV first and second dose in the right upper arm. Anterolateral thigh, it is the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. Oral vaccine is rotavirus and OPV. Left upper arm, we give the BCG and the FIPV third dose. Please remember the third dose is in left upper arm. The first and the second dose is in the right upper arm. Anterolateral thigh, left side, we are giving the pentavalent, the vaccine, uh, pentavalent, the hepatitis B and the JE killed vaccine is also given in the in the anterolateral thigh left side. So this is the this is what is the, the the immunization status and this is what I draw in the classes as well. And this is what we do to the child. Yeah, it is awesome, Bachchi. <laughs> sir, vaccine man, PSN, Subhiyah, Mohit, sir. Telegram, somebody was saying, sir, send that vaccine man. Yeah, how do you think this is man? This is a child, beta. This is a child. So this is a vaccine child. And it is our, uh, this thing, uh, innovation and creativity. And uh, the best answer is option number D. Let's go to the next MCQ. Which of the following is kept in the upper part of the ILR? What is ILR? Ice lined refrigerator. <clears throat> Which of the following is kept in the uppermost part of ILR? ILR. What is ILR? Ice lined refrigerator. ILR stands for ice lined refrigerator, which is in the upper path. This question is very important. This question is very important. Sir, what is the Telegram channel? Ka kya naam hai? Please tell me. Manish, you have to tell me Telegram ka channel. You have to tell me that 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 you to tell me that you have to tell me that you have to tell So, you have to my name is Mukmohit and same name up telegram mein type karenge, you'll get the channel and I uh, handle that channel I'm proud to say wo channel mera khud ka hai aur main khud chalata hu aur usme andar khud main answers karta hu which of the following is kept in the uppermost part of ILR I think many students have answered it uh, ek kya baat hai ishq riyaz tu na dil jeet liya aaj to tumne bhai pakka exam done hai dhyan se padhna zyada hawa mein nahi udna hai dharti pe aaja मान लिया आप अच्छे पढ़ाई की हो बट धरती पे आ जाओ धरती से जुड़े रहो याद है ना मेंसोनिया मॉस्किटो मेंसोनिया मॉस्किटो रूरल मॉस्किटो धरती से जुड़ा हुआ मॉस्किटो चांद तारे देखता है दो से तीन किलोमीटर दौड़ता है धरती से जुड़े रहो इंसान वही है मैन वही है व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज केप्ट इन द अपर मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ आईएलआर अपर मोस्ट पार्ट इन द आईएलआर हेपेटाइटिस बी पेंटावेलेंट जेई डाइल्यूएंट्स व्हिच व्हिच डू यू थिंक आंसर इज डी काफी स्टूडेंट्स ने ए बोला ए भी सही था बट यहां डाइल्यूएंट्स आ गया so diluents will always be the upper part. Agar ye aap dekho, ye ILR hai. ILR stands for, stands for Ice Lined Refrigerator. Ice Lined Refrigerator. So Ice Lined Refrigerator mein sabse top pe, at the top, what, what do you have? At the top you have as the diluents. Then you have as hepatitis B, PCV and all these. And in the last you have the Prime Minister vaccines. That is the polio vaccine and the measles vaccine. So diluents is always above. Very nice. Uh, Riyaz, aapne theek bola tha, don't hurt people in this room because Japanese manners outshine. Dr. S, don't hurt people in this room because Japanese manner outshine. Very nice. Very nice. So what is the best answer? D. D stands for diluents. H is hepatitis B. P stands for uh, pentavalent and the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. I stands for IPV. T stands for T and D vaccine, R stands for rotavirus vaccine, B cause stands for BCG, J vaccine, measles vaccine, and OPV vaccine. So that's how you place the things in ILR. Next MCQ, which of the following is the discard point in the image shown? Let's just finish off this topics. Which, are, which is the discard point in the image shown? Kya bolna ho? Which is the discard point in the image shown? What's your answer, guys? Option D. D. Matla, e is the discard point. Hey, bhai, what are you doing? I should have made the options more like easy for you. Option C is the discard point. Please note what is the discard point? Discard point. It is when there is same color. It is when there is same color. So if you look at this closely, if you look at this closely, can you see this? If you look at this, see, see the inner circle, the inner square 
it is light in color and the outer circle it is dark in color right and d shows the same color and e shows darker square so when do you discard it the discard point when do you discard it the discard point is at option number d that is the discard point discard point is option number d delta that is the discard point okay that is the discard point so what is the best answer it is option c that is d point that is the discard point Chalo, let's go to the next MCQ. Recommended dietary allowance is the amount of nutrition which is sufficient to prevent any excess or deficiency in what percent of population? What do you want to say? Okay, aapka immunization, fada fada se revise hua. Let's go to the next topic, nutrition. Recommended dietary allowance is the amount of nutrition which is sufficient to prevent any excess or deficiency in how much percent of the population? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? uh 97.5 or 50 or 99 or 100 percent of the population everybody is so cool very nice i love you all absolutely correct beta it is 97.5 percent this keeps me motivated that and in case and you know the answer that's what motivates me and i'm so happy that you all guys remember the answer it is 97 and a half. Please remember what is recommended dietary allowance and what is estimated average allowance. What is recommended dietary allowance? What is recommended dietary allowance? Recommended dietary allowance is the allowance which is sufficient for 97%, 97.5% of the population that is called as a recommended dietary allowance. What is estimated average allowance? Estimated average requirement that is amount of nutrition which is sufficient for 50% of the population that is uh, estimated average requirement whereas amount which is 97.5 that is recommended dietary allowance ER is 50 RDA is 97.5 absolutely correct answer let's go to the next MCQ which of the following is not correct let's go to the next MCQ which of the following is not correct fat intake to be 25 to 40 grams per day for males Calcium requirement is same for pregnant and non-pregnant female. Iron requirement is uh, in lactation is higher than in pregnancy. 54 grams of protein is required per day for a reference male. W which of the following you think is, uh, is not correct? Sir, you NLC not come to NLC, you don't come to NLC, so so anyways, that was like uh, too many things that I had at hand. So that's why we have not made a new NLC program. And uh, I hope that next year will be Let's see. Uh, which of the following is, I am amazed. This question, when I was making it, I was, I'm seriously saying, when I was making I was thinking that the kids will say, this is a wrong question. Brother, uh, Vish Kriyaz. <laughs> 40 or lactating में 23. That's so nice. But ये बेटा पुराना time का answer है. It is now 27 and 23. Riaz, uh, very nice. I'm proud कि आपने पुराना data याद करा है. But that is old. It has been updated now. I'll just show you. Very nice. Everybody all correct. Iron requirement in lactation is higher than in pregnancy. It is not correct. It is false answer. It is the answer over here. Iron requirement is not higher. It is lower than in pregnancy it is lower than in pregnancy ye jo hai isme i wanted to confuse you but aap log nahi hue confused mera mcq flop ho gaya but theek hai eh shavash sahi sahishnuta deshmukh very nice beta 27 and 23 i'm proud of you that's it that's it that that's the way to go beta very nice very nice deshmukh i i uh, like congratulate you for remembering this data reference male and reference female who is a reference male? The reference male is weighing 65 kilograms. The reference female is weighing 55 kilograms. The height of reference male, it is 1.77 meters, whereas for the reference female, it is 1.62 meters. 
the BMI, the body mass index of male, it is 20.75, whereas for female, it is 20.95. Okay. The reference male and reference female, they both will sleep for eight hours, work for eight hours. The, they will be sitting and moving around around four to six hours and active work and household work and exercise for two hours. So that's how they're going to spend their whole day. This is what is a reference male and a reference female. Now for the reference male and reference female, we have some recommendations. What is the recommendations for protein? Protein is 0 0.83 grams per kg per day. DIAS, that is digestible indispensable amino acid score. This is the best indicator for protein quality, best for protein quality, that is DIAAS. Visible fat intake, 25 to 40 in case of males and 20 to 30 in case of females. The omega-3 fatty acid recommendation, omega-3 to omega-6 to MUFA, it should always be 1 is to 1 is to 1. That is the recommendation. That is the omega-3 and omega-6. They should be in equal proportions. Dietary fiber should be taken in 40 grams per 2,000 calories and carbohydrates should be 130 milligram, 130 grams a day. 130 grams a day is for carbohydrate uh, requirements. So based on this recommended dietary allowance, we can have a non-pregnant female, a pregnant female and lactating. If you talk about the iron beta, if you talk about the iron requirement, iron requirement in non-pregnant, it is 29. In pregnancy, it is 27. And in lactation, it is 23. So can you believe this? In non-pregnant female, it is 29. In pregnant female, it is 27. And in lactation, it is 23. So as because the iron requirement, it is highly dependent on menstrual uh, loss, like it, uh, the menstruation during the periods, there is intense amount of iron loss. And that requires more iron intake in a non-pregnant, non-lactating female. Now, in case there is pregnancy, it comes down to 27. In lactation, again, because of amenorrhea, it comes down to 23. So that's what is the recommended dietary allowance for iron. Calcium, if you see, it is same for pregnant and for non-pregnant females. So, so in terms of sleep, we are not reference male, female now. Absolutely correct. Very nice. So folic acid, it is 220, 570, and 350. So I have just remembered it requires three times more folic acid somewhere in pregnancy. And something around like uh, it increases by 100 more, 330. That is for increase in folic acid. So if you just understand all these things, so what is the best answer? Fat intake to be 25, 40. This is true. Calcium requirement is same. 54. So 65 into 0 0.8. It will come out to be 54 milligrams in case of males. And for females, beta it is 45 milligrams. So just remember 45 and 54. 5, 4, 4, 5. Opposite, right? So that is the protein requirement in case of male and female. The best answer over here is option number C. Going to the next MCQ. A 32-year-old pregnant female reports to your OPD for consultation for her bloating and abdominal heaviness. Lab parameters to the mother and child are all within normal range and only nutritional advice is planned for this female. The estimated calorie intake, what do you think is the estimated calorie intake for this female? How much do you think is the estimated calorie intake for this female? 350, 220, 600 or 450. The good doctor says A, Sarah says A, Lakshmi says A, Nitin says A, everybody says A, which is the wrong answer. Everybody, I got you. So this is the wrong answer. Galat ho gaya aap sab ka answer. Galat ho gaya, galat ho gaya, galat ho gaya. Mayank ne A ki aage tikke bhi lagai. Shavash, Govind Singh, A. Abhe, tum log galat kari ja rahe ho answer. Galat ho gaya, ruko, thamo, thamo. Shanti, shanti. <laughs> so that's that's so sweet of you guys. That's so sweet of you guys. So 32 year old pregnant female reports to it's, a, it's something like a wave. Wave will come for a a a a. Then people start saying, "Acha, a niya sir, bol raha hai, a niya to d hoga. D d d d." So it's something like wave phenomena. Anyways, let's take it on. MCQs for you guys. Please note. A 32-year-old pregnant female, 32 year means she's in which trimester? First, second or third trimester? This is a third trimester. 
दिस इज अ थर्ड ट्राइमेस्टर सुन लो फटाफट से दो मिनट लगने नथिंग मच बेटा थर्ड ट्राइमेस्टर रिपोर्ट टू ओपीडी फॉर कंसल्टेशन फॉर एबडोमिनल हेवीनेस लैब पैरामीटर्स आर नॉर्मल ओनली न्यूट्रिशनल एडवाइस इज प्लान सो आंसर इन दिस केस वट इज द आंसर इफ यू लुक एट दिस टोटल रिकमेंडेड डायटरी अलाउंस फॉर एनर्जी recommended dietary allowance for energy please note that there could be a male there could be female so we can have 1600 goes to 2100 and this goes to 2700 in males 2100 2700 and 3400 that is for sedentary moderate and heavy worker right please remember mota mota taur pe in normal adults it is roughly around 35 to 60 kilocals per kg for infants for uh, infants it is 80 to 90 in uh, children it is 70 80 in adolescents it is 50 to 70 kilocals per kg per day this is the general requirement in non pregnant non lactating females in case it is pregnancy in case it is pregnancy beta in the first trimester the female needs 70 to 85 kilocals extra per day to be added to whatever she was consuming 16 60 21 30 or 27 40 in second trimester 230 230 to 280 kilocals in third trimester 390 to 470 kilocals in third trimester so i got you there it's not 350 it is 390 to 470 kilocals average aata hai 310 so average comes as 310 so in the third trimester it is 450 ab aaya na sora very nice everybody answering correctly now so bilkul theek hai ab aapke answer sabke d ho gaye very nice very nice third trimester hai so the answer is d third trimester hai so the answer is option d 450 kilocals per day absolutely correct answer okay so ye googly question pada googly padi and wicket bowled hua and students ne a answer kiya which amino acid is in higher amounts in the food given in the image which amino acid is in higher amounts in the food given in the image kaun sa bolte ho which amino acid is in higher amounts in the food given in the image lysine b tryptophan Lysine is high. Kuch students D keh rahe hain. Kaiyo ne pakad li hai baat. Kuch students B keh rahe hain. Tryptophan is low. So higher bata na higher. Bich jor ka jhatka dhire se lage ya dhire ka jhatka jor se lage. Baat to ek hi hai. <coughs> Answer will not be 350 beta. Answer was 450. <coughs> Which amino acid is in higher amounts? Which amino acid is in higher amounts? What do you want to say? lysine tryptophan cysteine and leucine please note that this what you see over here is maize maize or corn or makka or makki so this corn or maize corn or maize it is high in leucine anything which is high in leucine may even cause pellagra so this is corn and maize it is high in leucine so the correct answer over here all those who have given option d as the best answer that is the correct answer maize straw lee hey shavash deshmukh i remember that aapko bhi yaad hai very nice trolley nahi hai matlab trolley hai hai na tra karoge to thoda sa trolley trolley ka lo that's okay but it's straw lee i have remembered it as trolley anyways best answer over here is leucine d is correct coming to the next one a 30 year old male ab ye question thoda sa high, higher im, important ho gaya pratik singh trolley and thali kya baat hai thali very nice very nice so 30 year old male member of a family from a village in west bengal presented with a chief complaint of diarrhea on examination it is noted that the patient has ascites and edematous extremities on taking history it was found that they were consuming mustard seeds bought from the same local shop which is the best possible explanation for this condition upper motor neuron palsy collagen deposition in liver increased glycogenolysis genotoxic hepatic carcinogen what do you think is the best answer over here i know it's a it's a slightly uh, difficult mcq i would put it as a difficult mcq but all said and done again 
I would say that uh, this MCQ, you already know the answer. If you just apply a little bit of brain, what this question is talking about, you will get the answer. So the chief complaint was of diarrhea. Okay, it is noted that the patient had ascites and edematous extremities. So on taking history, it was mustard seeds. The main game changer is mustard seeds. If it is mustard seeds, what are you thinking? So some of the students, Kunal says, yes, he's thinking, right, this is epidemic dropsy. And this is due to the toxin sangui narin. Absolutely correct. So what is this all about? If you look at this uh, table, this is the table which you must have seen it most of the time. This table, this table. So it is, <clears throat> uh, this table is pretty important. If we talk about epidemic dropsy, beta, what is the toxin in epidemic dropsy? It is sanguinarin, that is the toxin. What is the clinical features? The clinical features is bilateral swelling of legs with diarrhea, dyspnea, cardiac failure, and glaucoma. See what happens in epidemic dropsy, epidemic dropsy. It is by consuming sanguinarin, which is in Argimon Mexicana. It is in Argimon Mexicana. So what happens is that the sanguinarin, the sanguinarin, it actually increases glycogen breakdown, glycogenolysis. And because there is more glycogenolysis, there is more glycogen, glucose, there is more glucose. And this more glucose will break down into more pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid. So it is the accumulation. Epidemic dropsy may, there is accumulation of excess pyruvic acid in the body. And it is because of the excess pyruvic acid, it causes these clinical features of endemic ascites and all these things. Okay, so it is due to epidemic dropsy, there is accumulation of pyruvic acid and this pyruvic acid will cause all the problems. So that is about the epidemic dropsy. So there is increased glycogenolysis. All those students who had answered option C as the correct answer, this is the correct answer. Toxin sanguinarin, it causes increased glycogenolysis and there is more pyruvic acid. There is more pyruvic acid in the body. Beta, upper motor neuron palsy, it is for upper motor neuron palsy that is seen in neurolatherism. Neurolatherism, we will have upper motor neuron palsy and genotoxic hepatocarcinogen that is for aflatoxicosis. Aflatoxin is a carcinogen, it is a hepatocarcinogen and that is for aflatoxicosis, right? Hello. Which of the following is not correct for millets? This is a pretty important MCQ. Which of the following is not correct for millets? What do you want to say? Not correct for millets. Usually consumed along with covering of grain. Ragi is rich in uh, iron rich. All millets are gluten free, more nutritive and less expensive compared to cereals. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Usually consumed with covering or ragi is iron rich, all millets are gluten free, most nutritive and less expensive compared to cereals. Uh, which of the following is false? You have to find the false one. Beta usually consumed with covering a ragi iron, millets are gluten sensitive, gluten free and nutritive and less expensive. What do you want to say? So if you look at this, if you look at this question, millets. Millets are smaller grains, beta. Millets are small grains which are consumed without removing the outer layer. So popular millets are like uh, we can have ragi. We can also have bajra. We can also have juwar. So ragi, bajra, juwar, these are, these are millets. Juwar is what we call as sorghum and bajra is what we call as the pearl millet. Ragi is the finger millet. So millets, they all all the millets they are gluten free so they are like uh, good for consumption for gluten sensitive patients less expensive nutritional superior and they require less water and they are resilient to climate change so overall beta millets they are super better so they are, so they are better compared to cereals they are better compared to cereals because they are more nutritious so they are superior and less expensive right 
Ragi is the millet which is rich in calcium and juar may cause pellagra as well. So that, that is the reason because you all should know that uh, cereals are an important part of the diet. But millets, International Year of Millet, International Year of Millet was 2023. So there can be expected MCQ on millets. Please remember that what are millets. Based on this, if you understand, it is given with covering. This is true. Ragi is rich in iron. It is rich in calcium. Gluten-free. Yes, this is correct. More nutritive and less uh, expensive. This is also correct. So what is the best answer for you as to mark? The best answer that we would like to mark over here is Ragi is not iron rich. It is rich in calcium. It is rich in calcium. So what is the best indicator for evaluation of protein quality? What do you want to say? The best indicator for evaluation of protein quality. Biological value, DIAAS, protein efficiency or net protein utilization. Please note, we have already done this. The best indicator for protein quality, it is DIAAS. What is DIAAS? It is digestible, indispensable amino acid score. It is, uh, it is not NPU. NPU is nothing but... NPU is nothing but the BV, that is the biological value, biological value into digestibility coefficient. And NPU is nothing but amount of nitrogen retained for muscle mass divided by total protein ingested in 200 this is what we have as npu npu is most commonly used it is npu is highest for it is maximum for egg npu is the maximum for egg right so best indicator for evaluation of protein quality that is option b that is digestible that is the digestible indispensable amino acid score so NPU, we have done the formula. It is amount of nitrogen retained for body mass divided by protein ingested in 200. Uh, just a few questions more. Which of the following is not correct for COVID vaccines? What do you think? Just five, five minutes more. Nothing much. Which of the following is not correct for COVID vaccines? We are about to close the session. Maybe three more MCQs. Which of the following is not correct for COVID vaccines? What do you want to say? Which is not correct match? Zyko. DNA, Moderna, mRNA, JJ is killed, Incovac is nasal. So what do you want to say? Which is the not correct match? What do you want to say? Which is the not correct match? So if you talk about all the COVID vaccines, beta, all the COVID-19 vaccines, COVID-19 vaccines, we can have these five major subclasses of the vaccine, viral vector vaccines, killed vaccines, protein subunit vaccines, and Bache, we can have mRNA vaccine. And there is a fifth class of vaccine that is the DNA vaccines. DNA vaccines. The DNA vaccine is what we call as the Zykov D. It is the Zykov D DNA vaccine. The viral vector vaccine, please remember, we can have is Covishield or the Sputnik vaccine, Jensen vaccine, Incovac. Covishield, everybody knows it is what is the strain? It is a Chad OX1. And they use a chimpanzee adenovirus. This can be your MCQ. The Sputnik vaccine is also adenovirus, but it is using a human adenovirus and not a chimpanzee adenovirus. Jensen, you can just leave because it has been taken back. Incovac, we are proud to say it is the only nasal vaccine and it is India manufactured vaccine. You should remember the strain BB154. Why am I saying so strongly that why do you need to remember BB154? Because BB152 is the strain for the co-vaccine. You already know about Covaxin, right? Covaxin is BB152. Incovac, that is BB154. Incovac is what type of vaccine? It is a viral vector vaccine. Okay. Next is uh, killed vaccines. We can have Covaxin. Covaxin is BB152 and not 154. 154 was Incovac. Then we also have the Sinovac or the Coronavac, which was an uh, inactivated Chinese production vaccine. Virus, Chinese, vaccine, Chinese, so many things. So protein subunit vaccine we can have is the Novavax or the Corbivax. Corbivax, we are very proud to say it's again Indian produced vaccine. Corbivax, it has been given uh, DCGI approval in year 2021. And it is a BE-CoV-2D protein subunit vaccine. It contains alum adjuvant. 
And then we have is the mRNA vaccine that is the Pfizer and Moderna. In many of the European countries, in US, in Canada, they gave the mRNA vaccines. So which of the following is not the correct match? Zykov is DNA. This is correct. Moderna is mRNA. That is also correct. GNJ is not a killed vaccine. It is a viral vector vaccine. Incovac is a nasal vaccine. So which is the best answer you would like to mark? The best answer you would like to mark over here is option number C. That is the GNJ vaccines. Last question of the day to close off the topic. Elements of mission Shakti include all except. Last question of the day. Elements of mission Shakti include all except. So what do you want to say? Sambal, Samarthya, Ujjavala, Sakkushal. Elements of mission Shakti include all except. What do you want to say? Elements of mission Shakti include all except. What do you want to say? It is elements of mission Shakti include all except. Many students are saying option C is uh, not there. Ujjavala. What is Ujjavala for? Anybody who would like to uh, put some uh, Roshni on this? Ujjavala. Beta, what is Ujjavala? Uh, Ujjavala is a scheme for preventing human trafficking. It is to decrease human trafficking and sexual exploitation. Right? Am I right? It is to decrease human trafficking and sexual exploitation. So what is this Mission Shakti? So now, aapne, have you ever heard of Mission Shakti? Mission Shakti is under the Ministry of Women and Child Development. Mission Shakti, it's not gas, uh, Gokila Goki, Goke, uh, that is Ujjwala. Ujjwala. Ujjwala is for promoting LPG. This is with a Ujjwala. Okay. So Mission Shakti is under Ministry of Women and Child Development. It is women-led development, reduce gender bias. There are a lot of smaller schemes like Sambal. Sambal is safety and security of women, Nari Adalat, one-stop Beti Bachao schemes. They all are under the Sambal scheme. Samarthya is to make them Samarth. The female should be Samarth. They are, that is empowerment. It's not that they need a position, they deserve positions in the society. So that is about women empowerment, not to give them what they deserve, but to actually give them the opportunity to at least show that they deserve something, right? So that is what is women empowerment. It includes Ujjavala. Ujjavala is to promote, is to decrease human trafficking, not promote it. Matru Vandana, that was cash incentive. I told you it is 5,000 5, rupees cash incentive. Again, under Ministry of Women and Child Development. Swadar, uh, Swadar Gre, the, that is like giving the, in case of any floods or any disasters or females who are facing difficult circumstances, we give them some better foods and uh, places to stay. A national crutch scheme that is for working mothers, there should be some availability of crutches. So these are smaller schemes under the Mission Shakti. That is Ministry of Women and Child Development. Please note that under the National Quality Assurance Program, we have these schemes like Kayakalp Awards. That is Better Hospital Administration. Lakshya is to improve lab, uh, labor room. Mera Aspatal, that is a IT platform to capture the feedback from patients. Muskan Scheme, Sakkushal. What is Muskan? Muskan stands for Child Friendly Public Health Care Services and Sakkushal is for quality assessment of the health uh, facilities that is Sakkushal. So all these are under the NCAP, National Quality Assurance Program, that is Sakkushal, that is Mera Aspatal, Muskan Scheme, just for names for you to know. So Samat in Marathi, very nice, very nice. So this is what the question was, elements of Mission Shakti include all except, so all except Sambal, yes, this is there. Samarthya, yes. Ujjwala, yes. Ujjwala, yes. And Sakushal, it is not a part of the Mission Shakti. It is a part of the National Quality Assurance Program and not a part of the Samarthya scheme. And so with that, uh, I'd like to take off from the today's section. Yeah, uh, next in line we have is communicable disease and non-communicable disease. So that's all for the day today. Tomorrow I will be seeing you around at the same time at 6 p.m. Sir, ek shairi ke saath hai, session end karna. Kaun si shairi sunega bhai mere? <laughs> Kaun si sh shairi sunoge? <clears throat> Kuch suno, suno phir dhyan se. Suno dhyan se. Uh, kaha jata hai ki kuch baatein, 
अनकही रहने दो कुछ बातें अनसुनी रहने दो सब बातें दिल की कह दी अगर सब बातें दिल की कह दी अगर फिर क्या रह जाएगा कहने में सब बातें उसकी सुन ली अगर फिर बाकी क्या रह जाएगा कि ओझल बेकली सी रहने दो बेकली मींस लाइक समथिंग विच इज हिडन कि ओझल बेकली सी रहने दो एक रंगीन अनबुनी दुनिया पर एक रंगीन अनबुनी दुनिया पर एक खिड़की एक खिड़की अनखुली सी रहने दो कि कल मैं फिर आऊंगा मैं फिर बोलूंगा और फिर आपको याद कराऊंगा कुछ बातें अनकही सी रहने दो कुछ बातें अनसुनी सी रहने दो कल का इंतजार रहेगा हम फिर मिलेंगे एंड विल वेट फॉर योर टुमोरोज पेरेंट्स एंड आई होप दैट एवरीबडी शुड बी देयर टुमोरो एंड टुमोरो वुड बी द लास्ट डे एंड लाइक आई विल ट्राई टू कवर एवरीथिंग व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज एनवायरनमेंट के कुछ क्वेश्चंस एंड एपिडेमियोलॉजी एंड बायोस्टार्स दैट विल बी ऑन कार्ड्स फॉर टुमोरो बेटा ओके Hello thank you so much and uh, I hope to see you again tomorrow evening at the same time at 6 pm till then uh, take care and keep on revising make sure that you do a lot of mcqs and I pray to god again that the work that we are doing that I am doing and that you are doing I hope to pray, I I pray to god that this comes in your exam and you do get benefit from this all the very best and namaskar and good night